a simple thing a battery is. You know, what? what is even in a battery? I guess we're about to find out. Hello, welcome everybody. We're going to go back to playing Vanille. Uh, abandoned the run last time, all right? I admit, we abandoned it too. Uh, but we're going to go, we're going to do it this time. We're going to we're gonna try and do all of the Vanille mission tree. We're going full evil. I should just say before we start, the things that we're going to do in this run definitely do not represent my personal beliefs. And Vanille is a terrible, absolutely horrific thing. And the Star Elves are super, super evil. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and go for it. Uh, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome in uh, Nurkor, Amy, Morton, Tokamak, Valencia, uh, the Razor, Pingmanator, uh, Scottish, hello, uh, Masterpiece, 95,300. Uh, have I missed anybody? Have I missed anybody? Have I missed anybody? Have I missed anybody? No. Vesper Tales, hello. <clears throat> you have 30 key points, but you're not cube because Vanilla's goodness. True, 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 true. We're not going cube this run, that is for sure. Can you actually help with battery? Yeah, I, I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. All right. <clears throat> so, Vanilla. Let, let's just let's just switch into the, the, the gamey game here. So you can see it. Okay, and Scottish hits with the Praise the Cube. You know what? Praise the Cube because we're not playing dwarves. Am I right, fellow elf lovers? Yes, dwarves suck cube great. Obviously, that's what that means. Praise the Cube. <laughs> Got him. All right. Get that restart counter down to zero. We don't got no restarts. Get rid of these wing dings off the screen. No wing dings today. Take it back, dwarves bad. L, cube, good, W. Okay, so we're playing Vanille. Vanille, uh, essentially, their whole thing is that they want to go back to Aelantir and uh, take it and get rid of, well, that's not true. They want to go back and take Aelantir. The path we're going to take is a very dark one, uh, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so let's let's get into it. We start with the 151. Uh, there's a lot of things that we're going to take a look at, but just know we do have a mission tree, and it's all about going to ooh, over here. So we're going to be colonizing a lot, and eventually we move our capital and everything over there. Humanist ideas, yes. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. We're definitely, definitely going to go humanist ideas. It's definitely going to be what we do. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Elves were able to neutralize just playing wrong. They always bend by the stance they take. Lord Daring gets a pass, though. Well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, okay, so essentially what happens was... Do I actually want to play with Great Conquerors? For this run, I might not. Only because it's going to be very annoying if we get to Aelantir and, like, Dragon Dominion get to Great Conquer. And then it's just like oh, a slog to get through there. We always we always play the great conquerors. Let's play with no great conquerors this time. Let's play with no great conquerors this time. <laughs> Disable Alien tier. Let's go. Huge. <laughs> like, well, we won. There's no one else there. Mythical, we're not playing with mythical conquerors. No. You know what? Maybe. Maybe before we do uh, Baldur's Gate 3. We'll do a Mythical Conqueror run, okay? If we have enough time, then we'll do like a Mythical Conqueror, very hard run before that for the memes, all right? But for this one, I think we're just going to go without the uh, the Great Conqueror. Uh, hello, Melox Dad. <clears throat> Remember at Mythical Conqueror, Ivar tilt you so hard. Yes. And that was valid. And that was valid. Also, I don't, were they Mythical? I think they were just uh, Great Conqueror. Playing Nimska and Mythical Conquerors on? <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Sure. All right. Uh, Victors of the Lilac Wars. The Lilac Wars ended a year ago and we were victorious. We fought under the banner of the Rose, defending the sovereign right to the of the Laurentish throne. We fought to maintain balance in Canor and prevent the old and decadent House of Silmuna from dominating the land. All right. So we start off with a 151. They are immortal, long lived. They are a navigator and an expansionist. We are actually a republic. But elves have really long periods in between elections, so our first election will be in 1468. Uh, we start with 10 light ships, and I believe early on we can get an explorer, and we can start exploring. We also have this absolute god-tier admiral here. Just the crazy admiral that will be able to help us in the early game with literally whatever we need. Uh, is very, very good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Uh, does anyone have Lucky Nations? It does, yes. Uh, I believe Laurent's one. I think Grombar's one. Gawed's one. The Command is one. I can't remember all of them, though. Uh, hey, Black Ops. What are you doing playing this, Elves? War Crimes. We're doing War Crimes. They buffed the stats of the Admiral? Yeah, he's, he's cracked. There's no Admiral that's going to be able to even think about contesting him. All right, so prepare the fleet. We need to enable exploration ideas and the quest for Alien Tier uh, idea. So we need to rush for Admin Tech 5. So I think we want to focus Admin here. Yeah, I think we focus Admin and then we take the Admin and Dip privileges. Colonize Starhole. There's no reason to colonize Starhole. So when we do move over to Alentir, we're going to take all of our development from this part of the world and move it over. So we don't want to do that. <laughs> For the funny? Well, hold on. For the funny, maybe. All right, let's grab the monthly admin and the monthly dip. We don't really care about Miltech as much at the moment. Do we even care about selling titles here? No, not really. Yeah, no, not really. So we'll just grab the monthly mail too. Then we will grab oversight. We'll grab. Where's the reform progress one? Is it this one? Yeah, let's grab clerical education. Lock that in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can we for the inevitable Grumpy Poey? True, Grumpy Poey will make a return, no doubt. No doubt. Uh, go supremacy over the council. And merchant guilds, you can have free enterprise. And merchant guilds bookkeeping. The adventures or the mages? Let's go mages. Patrons of magical, magical arts. Uh, who can I rival? I can rival Duran and I can rival Westum. I need to improve with Laurent to try and make sure they don't declare on me. You need to go and protect trade. We need to not pay for our troops. Uh, delete the cab. We don't need them. Um... That's it. What flavor of elephant F does you gonna do this run? The the battery one. Battery. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw down an embargo. Tech sword cost? No, I'd rather not fight Laurent, thank you. We don't need a state statutory rights. And who's the other one? Westall. Now, let's hope we get 50 Diplo points from the diet. Nice. Okay. Duran. And we will build a spy network up on them soon. Uh, the price of victory. The Lodic Wars were kind to the Rose. Even if we weren't able to secure huge tracts of lands, various dispensations have resulted in our court receiving many newcomers who now fall under our jurisdiction thanks to the various treaties that ended the war. They ranged from priests, formerly sovereign abbeys and temples recently brought under our control, to minor barons paying homage due to the transfers of exclaves and other minor lands. Such pomp and circumstances help once in caring for ourselves what we must uh, what we must of this newfound peace. We flowered with the rose and we shine that bit brighter for it. 25% chance of some kind of event happening in the year. Uh. Wait, and now we speed five. We don't have to worry about those yet. We're not hoisting the black flag. And we still have to, yeah, to form Aelnar, we have to proclaim the age of that. So we gotta wait. Uh, focus admin, and we make plenty of money. So grab a, a stab cost guy and a trade efficiency guy, and also a land maintenance. And go ahead and. Build a couple troops just so we're a little bit stronger. Who means you go back to Vanilla again? I did. I convinced myself. 
I convinced myself. Do I care about stability? Yeah, I do. I do. Throw out the corruption as fast as possible. A uh, mage of renown. I can get a cheaper court mage. I will gladly take a cheaper court mage. Thank you very much. That is a fantastic thing to pick up. That is wonderful. Okay. So strength on Duran. If I can get an alliance with Laurent, then I may consider that. Uh, let's max out our Diplo. Because we need to get through our Diplo ideas quickly. Also, there's no reason not to have our Admiral here. A quiet place. The wars of the Lilac were not always felt in the crash of steel or the slinging of magics. Sometimes they were felt by those at court realizing that their family no longer responded to letters they should. Other times it was felt by the courtiers who returned home to find their feats and festivals had fallen to by the wayside. And at times there was no one even left to feel it. A desolate village soon to become the home bandits for bands of soldiers to chase off. It was the unquiet of war felt in the court as much as in the provinces. Even the most hopeful know that it will be some time till the sound returns to these places left behind. Okay. Uh, Soren Kost can like us? I don't care if Soren Kost doesn't like me. Do I have prestige? I do have prestige. Uh, let's insult Gawed. Send a scornful insult. I'll make Laurent like me more. I need them to flip friendly before they decide that I am food and not friend. Needs to rush to Avantech. Dev's Avon. Nah, one dev isn't going to do a big... It's not a big deal. I'd rather not have the devastation. In case I get a free stability. Eh, game. Eh, eh, eh. Free stability time. Eh, eh, eh. Yes, yes. Free stability. Yes, yes. Cheaper trader. True, he is tier two. We can afford that. Moon Elf. How much do you cost? There we go. Well, that about balances it out, I suppose. No, I don't need state statutory rights. I'm good. I'm good. Laurent, I need you to flip friendly, man. I need you to flip friendly, please. You're attacking Riveria. Are you at war with Gawed now? No, just Riveria. Okay. This is good. If he loses enough troops, he may end up flipping friendly. Which I would appreciate. The Sail West, young elf. <laughs> Haven't you been told Alentir is full of uh, uh, batteries ruinborn in gold? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, all right. Ally kobolds. <laughs> well, they're monstrous, so no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on. Important, important thing to look at. There's more kobolds now. There are two gold scale kobold nations now. Massive, huge W. Look at that. Look at this. They've spread. There's a Sheikin that's a kobold now. Let's go. Okay, that's all. That's all. <laughs> this is gonna happen now. There's two of them. <laughs> They're reproducing too fast. <laughs> there's too many. Mission tree? Mission tree? Oh, do they have a mission tree? I think it's just a Sheikin mission tree. I would assume. I don't know. I haven't taken a deep look at them. I just saw they existed. Well, I was told they existed, and then I wanted to show you guys. Can I please, please have friendship? Please. Please. We can be friends. We can be friends. Think about all the good friendships that we can have. Uh. No. We save the Diplo for ideas. Well. I guess it's a while till we get the ideas, huh? I can try and see if I can get a discount on this. We'll see. Elf religion. We do have 106 power. We need 120 to be able to click any of these, and we're going to take the uh, admin tech cost, right? Meter cost, ship cost, 
This has institution embracement cost reductions and admin tech costs. Ooh, an extra colonist though. Ooh, ooh, that's really good actually. Oh, admin, admin efficiency though. I probably want the colonist, but admin efficiency is so very tempting. Uh, as for ideas, we're gonna go uh, exploration, expansion, diplomatic probably. Can I get this any cheaper? Does anyone else want to take it first? Please. Please. Please, 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 please. Uh, also, in a couple of months, we can revoke Crownland. So let's go ahead and get ready for that. <laughs> maritime? Maritime? No. No maritime allowed. All right, let's go for... Evrundir's Gardening Robe. The splendid robe of deep green silk allowed Evrundir, the legendary precursor gardener, to tend his fields no matter the weather. He would feel no heat, no cold, no rain, and breathe not but the purest air. <laughs> Anybody want to take this? Court painter is available. Absolutely. Thank you. Free stab. Thank you. Yay! We love free stability. <laughs> Elves are Protestant. It's over. It's so jover. All right. And then here in a couple of days, we should be allowed to revoke land. I can summon the diet a couple days afterwards. Let's do that first so the clergy aren't mad. I can build a spy network on Duran again. Uh, do I care about not fighting this with a general? Not really. Okay. We'll recover and then we'll stop paying for our troops. Mm -hmm. Isn't these pretty all the room board? We bad guys again? Well, we're definitely not the good guys. That's for sure. Definitely not the good guys. Okay. I do need to take this to get the Inno, but no one else has taken Diplotech yet, which is very sad. Please. Please, I want to get it cheaper. Just a little cheaper for me. As a gift? A gift for me? I don't think it's going to happen. Clergy political struggle. Uh, I don't actually mind they getting more influence. It's more tax for us. And since we're not taking land, they won't gain ground land, so. No! Ah, fine. Uh, first government reform. I know eventually we switch out of... We're going to switch out of a republic. We go meritocratic rule here. Just to get the goods produced for now. Like we're gonna need the money. Again, we're not gonna reelect like that many times. Gives me more points. Yeah, we're going to go with this. Based. We we stand with women, okay? Look at that. 25% female advisor chance, and we can recruit female generals. We stand with women, okay? If you didn't want to choose that choice, you hate women confirmed. Confirmed. Kind of cringe. Also cringe, you're not flipping friendly. Just saying. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw on the advancement edict here. That way we can get renaissance faster. Laurent, be friendly with me, man. 
Mans of Woe, yes. There we go, there's another 50 Diplo points. And what can I revoke Crownland again? 54, got it. Uh, I may want to give the nobility officer rights. Just because then I can get a general without spending the monarch points for it. Yeah. Yeah. Probably want to do. What if you can destroy them? Uh, because the resources that I would put into destroying them is not worth it. I mean, if you want to do the whole thing where you start as Vanail and then you take over like all of Kanor and then you leave, that's very funny. Uh, <laughs> but you would never have governing capacity for anything, but it would be very funny. Score one to the rival. I did somewhat recently. Yeah, I can't for another four years. Can't for another four years. And we just sit on this money. There's no reason to spend it. There's no reason to spend it. Well, he's 0.33. Is it ever going to pay itself off, though, by the time that we use it? I mean, it would probably help us colonize. Yeah. We'll do it. Uh, does anyone else want to ally me? Portnum would. Have you allied the rent Portnum? Nope, then I'm not allying you. Not gonna happen. If I can get tech four before Laurent, that would also probably help us get an alliance. But there's no guarantee that, no, the Admiral's already dead, damn it. <laughs> it's only 1453, come on, come on. <laughs> uh, we're not taking this, we're gonna wait to embrace institution. I need 150. Kellis under? Yeah, he's already dead. <laughs> well, he's not dead. He's just retired. Because you can choose for him to lead the nation once you get over to the other side of the pond. Yeah. He's not dead. He's just retired. Coward. Has he got something better to do than serving the state? Mm, sus. He's probably working for the dwarves or something. Please, Laurent, flip friendly man. I don't see why we can't be friends. Fourteen forty-four. That's right. Well, I think Duran just eclipsed us. Boo! Now we're just rivaled to Westham. <laughs> Lithal run win. Congratulations. Uh, this is the run. <laughs> this is the Lithal run. All right. Give me that dev cost. Beautiful. Now, disagreeing advisor. Uh, he's allowed to disagree. When we get 180 religious power, we can grab this colonist. Which should coincide rather nicely with us unlocking our uh, ideas. There we go. We'll take the mill tech. If only because it makes us a little bit stronger and might get Laurent to uh, flip friendly here. How many points can I store? Okay. 1148. Uh, we are losing some Inno right now. I'm not too concerned by that. So we can afford these two. I mean, we have no money now, but we can afford it. I need 92 ducats for that. Okay. Uh, let's pay for our troops and let's go to the nobility and grab nobility officer rights and we can go ahead and grab a general the trial uh, I would rather gain the monarch points thank you cover our morale here a bit before we fight these rebels wow I lose a lot of money Oh, because I'm rooting out corruption so hard. Yeah, don't, don't root out so much. Okay. Maybe just want me to build a spy network on Westham. I can do that. I can do that. 
Let me start that process. Can I insult Goed again? Nope. Sure cannot. Woohoo, Laurent's gonna flip uh, hostile because they're gonna go below 100 relations. Okay, fair, thank you. Then when this corruption is gone, we'll be back to making money. Is it second of your advisors? The Viking Dragon Rap Religion. No, it's not. We are Elven Forebears. We're our own special religion. Make sure to improve Dane's ground. True. Thank you. That is a good point. Uh, yep, and now they're hostile. Cool. Uh, could embrace institution. And I will. Could spread across the island as much as it's going to. There we go. Oh, it wasn't enough. Really? I'm going to reload back to the air. I thought that we would have enough admin. We're like just short. Take tech from the idea, first idea. I don't want just the first idea. Is the thing. What's the guy have you throw? Uh, I miscalculated about this. How much this would cost after we embrace the institution. We need to wait another couple months. Then we'll be good. Then we'll be good to go. 599 should be enough. Yes. Okay, we take admin. We go for exploration. Quest for Alien Tier. Colonial Ventures. Overseas expansion. We now have access to to colonists. We go for We go native repression. Uh, we go to the clergy. We grab native assimilation. Also religious power should have grabbed that earlier. Uh, merchant guilds, you can have colonial charters, and adventurers, you can have pioneer initiatives. Uh, yeah, I can read the national idea. The age of reclamation. Our people are overjoyed at the rediscovery of our homeland. Even now, droves of our kin are preparing to set sail to resettle their ancient motherland and reclaim what was lost in the ashes of time. Okay, we can also go... Oh, interesting. Give me an explorer. Now. Yeah, I need to improve with uh, Dame's Crown. All right, uh, prepare the fleet. With the ambition of rediscovering our ancient home of Aelantir booming in the hearts and minds of our people, it is time for us to prepare a new fleet of explorers to set sail. Uh, the Alariundo impulse happens in 200 to 300 days. 15 prestige, 100 diplo power. That's great. I'm glad that we're going to get a free explorer, but, uh, yeah, I'd rather just explore faster. So go ahead and explore this. You can protect there. And we can start to improve with Dame's Crown. Nobody less colony cost to state thing? Yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, expedition rights. Yeah, they are very strong. They're very, very strong. But it is what it is. Uh, will you do MRMP with your community? Uh, not for a while, no. Not for a while. Uh, Rediscovery Alien Tear. The first ever confirmation of Alien Tear's existence was the day it died. The day of Ash on Skies may have torn Alien Tear asunder, but ever since the Elven Remnant fleet arrived in Kanor during the year 1000, the tales of their fabled homeland has gripped idealists and explorers from all over. Since then, many have attempted to sail west and failed. Until now, Alien Tear has been rediscovered. What new secrets await on a lost homeland of Elven kind? I don't know. 
Yeah, so we're not going to be able to afford these advisors anymore when we start colonizing. And we got faceting. Cool. Do I have any other glass? Can I cheese it and get the Monopoly real quick? Yeah, I think I can. Uh, merchants. Monopoly on glass and gems are truly outrageous. Thank you. <clears throat> what happened to Lucian Day? Uh, we completed it. We completed the run. So there was no reason to continue. The Alariandel Impulse. Al Alariandel is an old woman who, legend tells, was born aboard a ship crossing a storm. She is recognized throughout the country by virtue of her venerable age and experience as one of the best captains of the nation, alongside Calisander. While the country is filled with a feeling of greatness and the desire to return to our origins, it is Alariandel who, after leaving retirement, will guide the effort of exploration with an iron hand and unshakable will. Uh, so, we get a 6573 Explorer, colonial range of 150%, and we get minus two colonists till the end of the game. I believe it's just until she dies and or retires. But I guess that gets rid of all of our possible colonists. But we're just exploring, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, you go ahead and explore this. Kick her out? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, until we find land? Okay. So what you're saying is I should specifically not discover land yet. I should specifically avoid finding land. We're gonna find a we're gonna have a no much hierarchy possibly this game. We should avoid finding land and just... No, we can explore the coast. Exploring coast is fine. Nope. Don't explore the coast. Just explore all the sea regions. That'll give us our, our best chance of success. Of uh, just in general being ready for all that we need to do. Blue Ruin Sea region. Yes. We have for the seven cities? Uh, maybe. That's a lot of manpower for elves, though. Want to colonize and rush? Uh, if I want to colonize, then I am rushing. By literally discovering all of the seas. Don't care about the Salahad stuff. Use mercs. True. Here's our spy network. Get that global settler increase. Lorraine, I'd really appreciate it if you, you know... <laughs> Good. It sucks that we can't do a show strength on uh, Duran now. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. Why have I all of a sudden started losing money? I'm running out corruption. Yeah, that'd do it. That would do it. The torn Sea region. Yep, go ahead and get that. Good to go. <laughs> so we have like all of Alentir discovered really quickly. To be nice. Or at least the coastlines. There's even some pocket dimension cause with Tracy and Tear. That or they're in like the elemental plane of uh sorry, not the elemental plane, the astral sea or something like that. Yep, South Yulos Lament, please. Where are we calling as you first? Here. Sortition, no thank you. Formalize the right of election, no thank you. Consolidation of power. Re-elections reduce state influence by 10%. No, I just want frequent elections. Explore. It's outside our colonial range. Western Broken Sea. 
And we have 160, which means that I can grab this colonist. 20 more. Okay. 20 more. I thought we were there at 160. Uh, go ahead and curry favors with the rents. Because they can pay for things for me. <laughs> Wex is a great power. That's fine. We are simply exploring. We simply will see everything. Sell institution to the rent. Oh, true. I didn't even think about selling institution to anybody. Uh, nobody wants it, unfortunately. Lorraine already knows. Goed doesn't want it. Well, actually, hold on. Yeah, nobody wants it. And I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, go for the... What's this? Nope. I don't want the coast. No. No. South Inlandier Coast C. Oh, yes. Well, if it's called coast, then why? Whatever. <clears throat> the Iron Rock has eaten all the trolls except for the island. Island trolls return. They also want to grab this island. All right, I think after this, I think we're going to go for unlocking the coasts and go for it. I think it's the plan. What in principle does elves believe in? Precursors or something else? Um, it's kind of like ancestor worship. Sorry, dwarves, but it's kind of like ancestor worship. <laughs> so why would we explain everything before starting a colony? Uh, because why would you not? If you have the opportunity to explore so much, why would you not want to take that? Uh, go ahead and explore... Is that even show me the... Colonial region? It's in Drillionde. I know that. But just explore the North Inlandier coast. It's fine. And you explore the North Ulos Lament Ocean Coast thing. Who orders his DLC to be able to enjoy the new Dwarven religion? I mean, I can't really answer that for you. Um, if you think that you're going to play a lot of dwarves, then sure, but like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Northern Thought Coast, I need to explore it to this. Laurent wants me to transfer trade power. Mm, counterpoint, what if I didn't do that? What if I simply didn't do that? Colonial Indrillionde. Yeah, but I need the region. It's Indrillionde. Well, that didn't help. Uh, let's go for the Calamity Pass, then. Coast. <clears throat> and the Ruined Sea Coast. Would love to send a colonist here as soon as possible. Uh, map of the West. Our boats are afloat and our explorers are thirsty for discovery. It is time for us to chart our destiny, and to do so, we will need good maps. Five prestige, 25 diplo power, and we lose the impulse. So now, I need Dame's Crown to like me a little bit more. Religion, thank you. Alright, we have three colonists to play with now. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, who do you not like? You don't like Durwing. I agree. Durwing is the worst, man. All right, Dames Crown Loan. It is time to draft serious plans as to how we will finance our colonial venture should we seek support abroad. Although our, all of our people have a strong desire for reconquest, reclaiming Aelin here will be a long, arduous task. 
Uh, an option proposed by one of our advisors would be to ask the rich city of Dane's Crown to finance our colonial ventures through an exceptional loan. If we fulfill our duty by occupying aliens here again, they will be sure to enjoy it more than anyone on Canor. Yeah. Don't forget to re-up state privileges. Thank you, because I would not have remembered that. Okay, new missions. Uh... Apparently they kept their expedition rights. That's odd. Uh, Colonial Charters, sure. And you go and get the Pioneer Initiatives as well. Uh, let's pay for our troops so we can revoke some crown land. I need Dame's Crown to respond before I start going buck wild. They accept and they give us 500 crowns. We get plus 40 yearly tax income and plus 40 global settler increase as well. Bunch of Monarch Point. A uh, bunch of prestige. It's time to send it. There's Settler Chance. Uh, lessons of the Remnant Fleet. The years we spent adrift on the Remnant Fleet were harrowing and brutal. But those who survived were able to teach later generations much in the ways of seafaring. Let us embrace this knowledge and use it to reclaim our home. Minus 50% naval attrition. 0.25 yearly Navy tradition. Okay. So. Send. 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 Uh, fire all of you. We're probably going to have to fire him too. I don't want to, but we probably will. Um, and let's revoke some crown land. And apparently we have high income now. Sure. And we will stop paying for the troops again. And out our colonies go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Uh, dang. Uh, Calvin, thank you for the seven months of Prime Gaming. Appreciate it. Imagine falling for an Alt F4 in 2023. <sighs> you know what? It happens, okay? People make mistakes, and we should forgive them for those mistakes, right? What if good guy tags would actually make good Aminar content? The question you ask is more complicated than I think you think. Uh, it's very hard to create a nation state that is quote unquote good because I mean, good's just subjective. So, uh, no. Lazy Explorer, thank you. Yes, we will get out there and explore what we can. <clears throat> Glory Road. One base tax, cool. And we will not be spending this money. It was good profits. That's true. Not sure what that has to do with what we're talking about, but you're right. Profits are good. Uh, can I summon the diet? Yes, I can. Mages, you want me to build a spy network on Westum? I would love to do that. Thank you for the free Diplo points. You guys on the Southern Islands? No. No. The only reason I'm grabbing this is because I don't want Duran, Laurent, or Nimskod, or Bjarnrik to be able to grab this and get over here quickly. Um, would it be worth it to grab these? <sighs> Maybe. Let's see. What is our colonies looking like right now? We're at 85 a year. But we do have 37.8% chance of... Uh, Tracking every settler every month. So that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Making a ducat a month. That means that I can afford this trade efficiency guy. And he should just about pay for himself. Yeah. Nice. Uh, learnings of an elder. Well, we did just lose one admin. So let's get that admin back. And explore. No, Laurent, I'm sorry. I cannot give you my money. Still grab one vacant island in the south. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, go ahead and take the tech. Upgrade troops to rangers. I don't... I don't really want to take the admin tech early, is the thing. No, I'd rather have the all-power cost advisor. 
So I may just buy down inflation here. It's also cheaper because he's here. It won't make us much at the moment, but uh, eventually I'm assuming our inflation will go kind of crazy. And at that point where you will appreciate having none. Production efficiency is colonial growth. Really? Fine, I'll take it. Gimme, 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 our merchants are almost loyal. They're very strong, though. <laughs> They're very strong. All right, there should just be one more exploration to do, and that's that. Cool. All right, there we go. Dies expired. Weakens people a little bit. Love for our nobility to be loyal as well. Okay, and I can finish exploration ideas. That's awesome. And we're gonna stay focused on admin because we're gonna to wanna to take expansion next. Why is it gonna be strong? Eliza, I didn't realize that they own all this. Huh? Oh, they lost. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a minute, what do you mean supporting the independence of Jadari? <laughs> Dang, Aska Everett got a really good alliance. Uh, chain going there. And Keteron is dead, okay, wow. How's Vanilla start? Uh, you start off colonizing a lot, and then eventually, uh, you know. That did not help in any way, did it? <laughs> and eventually you go on to... Focus on taking all of Alien Tier for yourself. Uh, we should probably go Fleet and Bean, right? For the naval maintenance. Long term, I think that's probably the better idea. Because we're going to need a lot of boats. Like a lot of them. Like a lot. Right. I have 10 favors with the rent. So let's go ahead and ask them to give me... Money, thank you. Decadence, we lose a stab. Sad. Oh, didn't need that on. Almost got prosperity. Big sad, big sad. <clears throat> yes, another admin, please. Uh, let's reinforce our army. First light requests privileges. Assuming that's up here. First sight. Yeah, I can't afford to lose. Can't afford to lose the loyalty here. I don't really want to give them 2% of land, though, is the thing. No, you're out of luck. Sorry. Will you console for a 666? Do you not have time? And need it? No, no. No, no. We, uh, we don't want the 666, unfortunately. If, if you want to avoid the disaster, you could do that, but I'm not trying to avoid the disaster. I am running towards it. <clears throat> uh, a gift of the gone. The Lilac Wars were a devastating affair to many villages and towns, some even being wiped off the map, their inhabitants scattered or worse. In other cases, though, the old buildings were slowly resettled with former refugees and squatters, becoming the new inhabitants of the location in full. It is a slow process, one that is almost never easy, but time has passed since those long years of war upon war, and now recovery has given way to the beginnings of prosperity. The young woman petitioning us now is proof of that. They stand before us as someone who benefited from picking up things left behind from those simple starved and withered away when she was forced to strike out on her own life as a widow. 
she was able to use funds from selling on and pawning these items to afford a world-class education and better her lot in life, enough so to stand as a fine lady before us. Clearly, she is a capable individual to have survived so long with no one else to support her. Perhaps our business with her could extend past her petition. Uh, Far Isle can get cheaper dev costs, more tax, more manpower, and cheaper state maintenance. Or I can get a tier 2 natural scientist. That is 50% of the cost to employ. Hello. Welcome to court. <clears throat> Welcome to court. All right, I do have a diplomat. Uh, we could top off Lorations. Re Lorations. Relations with Laurent. Is her advisor portrait a dude? Yes. They're elves. It doesn't matter. But, all elves look the same, right? <laughs> Am I right, fellow uh, dwarves? <laughs> Got him. Let's go. <sighs> What's this? Huh? What? You lucky bastards. They got a they got an alliance with Goed. Uh do I even want to state that? I'll half state it, but I'm not gonna spend my admin on it. Do we really want to go down here and grab these? Or would it be better just to start consolidating this part of the world? I think it'd be better. Just to First colony. Immigration first step. If I can get... If I can get a colony with seven fully colonized provinces, I can get plus 20 global settler increase. Does require... Taking a hit to my trade efficiency, though. You keep the Salhad Islands when you go over that. Really? Huh. In that case, I'll grab them. It only exits Canorland. That feels like an oversight. That feels like an oversight. Like you should just lose everything over here. But we'll take it. There's water on my glasses. So I guess we just grab the Salahad Islands. Trade map might be able to get Sarhal money. You can get some if you go down into uh, down the co, but we're going to be plenty busy over here, I think. We may dip in and, and, and see. So we'll take all the islands that are somewhat close to Kanor and see what we can do with them. We will re-elect, obviously. Uh, so we have a 362. Which I do like. Is there any other way that I can grab another colonist? I guess it's just taking tech. We are very um, ahead on admin tech here. In fact, we're so far ahead... I think we stab up. I should have stabbed up before we reelected. That's okay. Steal island from the country next to Vicock for fun. Eka. Oh. Go three stab. But an Eka requires fighting Vicock. Is it Vicock or Vicock? I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Spices. Ooh. Nobody tell the Dutch. There we go. Take the Diplotech. We would like to get up to Diplo Diplotech 7 to get more colonial range, but also Diplotech. No, that's Diplotech 10 for the global settler increase. Okay, it's not that big. 
<laughs> echo win. No, no, he's back. <laughs> Calvin's back with the echo. <laughs> Never. Never. Call them no pirates, but their name is Viacock. Does that make you think of something else? Mm -hmm. Can I not say the Knoll's name? Also, why is Blue Scale alive still? Nimscott? Your ally to go ahead, just call them in and kill them. It's not that difficult. But nail gameplay though, right here. Okay, my estate's getting weaker. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, oh, I need to. Calisander Duskblade has been fired. No. You want me to do... Colonies are reclaimed so we fully colonize any province in the Tierra Wood border area. And we give me global settler increase. You want me to go for even worse spot. You want me to develop manpower and you want me to develop tax. Let's go for the, the adventurer one. We're going to have to get ready to send troops over, though, which is the sad part. So we will enjoy our time of not paying for troops a little bit longer. Also, I am going to lower autonomy. Because that should give us another troop. Alright, some mercs. Yeah, we could do that, but we don't really have the force limit. I mean, I could delete infantry and stuff, but. Uh, brilliant government. I'll take the money. Military engineer is dead. Grab the discipline guy. Growth of the economy. Great. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to finish these, and then we're going to send three colonists. Hmm. One colonist up here to grab that buff, and then two into here to start making sure our colonial nation can do work. Uh, we'll probably colonize the center of trade. I don't have any place these days, but it used to get real boring as the only colonizing nation. Well, that's what we're hoping for. <laughs> we're hoping that no one else could possibly compete with us. <laughs> That'd be great. That would be wonderful. But we'll see how it goes. Do these nations here take colonial ideas? To go to Southern Alien Tier? Does Southern Alien Tier trade even go there? No. Yes. Okay. There's one line that goes here. Canor bias. Stupid Canor bias. Bad Canor bi bias. Why would these nations not want to colonize this way, huh? Hmm? 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 Ooh, I wonder which one we're going to take. Should we take Justified Wars? Combat bonus and terrain of capital? One half four content time seems affordable. Uh, I disagree. We're gonna need that money. No problems in tribals. I mean, to be fair, those are gnolls. <laughs> war taxes. No, my war taxes for all the wars we're doing. Throwing, throwing. Uh. Oh, you don't have money. Boo, boo. Mm-hmm. Africans and colonies either? Yeah, but these aren't this is in Africa. This is Sarhal. It's different. <laughs> it is absolutely different. Like I see what you're saying, but no. Uh what do I do with my admin points, man? I guess we just develop. Do a little bits of admin development for fun. You get the right to help you show strength on rival. Uh, yeah, if I wanted to go fight the Empire, I could. But I don't want to. Well, actually. Maybe the Emperor doesn't like him. Nope, Emperor likes him. And by declaring on the Empire, I go to war with the Emperor. And the Emperor is Ali to Laurent, so no. Uh, what in the world do I do here? I'm in tech cost. Yep, that's all I care about. I'm in tech cost sounds great. Uh, let's get to work on colonizing. So it's this area. The Terrawood border. Do I care which one it is? 
This one's the weakest. This one's the closest to this, though. But this is closest to the gold. Send a colonist. Pay for the troops. Good luck, boys. We're sending four of them over. We're only going to send what we need, so leave two transports behind. Uh, let's take a little trip to... How long is it going to take me to move here? The 29th of Nerament. Okay, cool. Do that then. So we don't take any attrition. Send you there. Then... We wait for this colony to pop up. Really? Can I get there in time? Mm, I can't get there in time. We did take an attrition tick, but that's okay. We'll survive. Uh, but you're going to lose dev on these centers of trades for mission. I mean, okay. I would rather grab them, though, because the, if I don't grab them, the AI will try and grab them, and I do not want the AI to grab them. Uh, do I want to go and just colonize like I need a colonial trade regions I should probably just grab all of the centers of trade immediately somewhere that isn't tropical or jungles or anything like that would be preferred uh, what about development-wise? It's all pretty bad, except for Jerksel. Colonize next to provinces for faster colonies. True. I always forget about that, too. Yeah, we'll try and get this island figured out, then. Cities demand old rights. Uh, They can have them. <laughs> I don't have any government reform progress anyways. Take tech six, take tech six, very good. Upgrade our cab that we definitely have. We definitely have cab. And now I have to figure out what to do with my admin again. Do we want to take admin early? Six years early? I mean, I could get in for it. Yeah, at year tick. We'll waste a little bit of admin, though. Here, I could do some development, actually. We should be good. If not, Elbozo. There we go. There's the year tick. And we've got 157 days left. 916 admin hurts a lot. But now we can unlock uh, expansion. Oh, Cappy. Oh, Cappy. So there we go. Uh, and how many are we getting in a year here? Plus 90 compared to plus 85. So it's another five for being adjacent. Right? Am I crazy? Yes? Maybe? Maybe. What does power protection give me? Does it give me anything I need? Board fence, probably tradition, trade power. No, we're good. Rather keep the prestige around. Bring back transports? Mm, no, because I don't need them over there, and odds are we're going to keep colonizing somewhere that I might need these guys, so. Oh, is there a malice for not adjacent? Ah, malice for not adjacent. Okay, gotcha. Any infrared for the policy? Uh, no, I was planning on going for diplomatic for the province of war score cost reduction. Is there a particularly good policy with infrastructure in these? Colony development boost plus one. Yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> that ain't bad. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. We need admin ideas and we need diplo ideas. <laughs> well, we're probably not going to be taking a military idea for quite some time. If we want to truly colonize like crazy. And I don't know when we should make the switch over to, Alent or to Alnar. Probably as late as possible, I would assume. 
Like get as many colonies as I can get before they become too uh, disloyal. And then swap over. What, naval? Nah, we'll just build a lot of boats. We'll be fine. Is it where you offer Laurent your land? Yeah, as soon as you leave, then you give uh, Soren Cost or Laurent your land. Which is fine. And there is colony number four. Colony number four. You do it when they demand that land. Is it not through a mission thing? Where you like offer stuff over? Or something? I thought how that worked. Am I crazy? Was it, I thought it was like during the immigration stuff that like when you're like, oh yeah, when I leave you can have this land, Laurent. Yeah, but like they're not going to be like, okay, give it to me now. But yeah, maybe I'm misremembering though. Can I say it's Dame's Crown? Hmm. For colony help, gotcha. Then they eventually demand payment. Okay. Well, then I guess we have to move by then. Uh, Learning to an elder. Give me more admin points. Thank you. Colonial expansion. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Grain. Ooh. Wow. Laurent is going to attack Ellison in a war. Another admin. We're now a 662. Court painter is available. 50 crowns for 50 admin points. I'll take that trade deal. One ducat for a one monarch point is great return. That's fantastic. Oh, wow. They actually called me in. Uh, sure. I don't know exactly what you want me to do here. Like, once you've already won the war, I'll send some dudes over to do some looting. This is the gold, right? Okay, we're not going to re-roll for gold or anything, so just pray. Pray, chat, that we get the gold, and, and we, we succeed, and we're awesome and cool. That's the hope. Another merchant. Uh, hope across the sea. Uh, the day of ash and skies was the lowest point in all of elven civilization, which makes the prospect of reversing the doom and reclaiming our home all the more appealing. Our people place their hopes and dreams in Aelin tier, and we must do our best to fulfill them. Plus 15 global settler increase, 10% vassal force limit contribution. Uh, this is almost done, so we're going to... Oh, I got a merchant, not a, not a colonist. Uh, where do I want this merchant? Probably in... Andrelionde. You already have one in the Dragon Coast. Okay, Entir Tifur is already completed. Uh, one, two, three, four. Do I just want to move into Norwin immediately? Or even the Ruined Sea immediately? Or I can just grab these islands and be a dick and cut everybody off. You said in the first area? True. Yeah, we'll grab these islands. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, if I colonize here... Seven. Rigorous researchers. Thank you. Don't need to take this yet. Take another year tick. So try and get Norman for the uber powerful adventurous bond. That's true. That is something that we have to keep in mind. Ooh. You. What's my force limit? Build a workshop. Three dev. 
Uh, does Amnar still require colonial subjects to have 10 prophecies plus one merchant? Yes, I believe so. I believe so. I sent a but the update is available on Discord. Where can I find it? What section? It is in the. Uh, so you go to the Amnar Discord and you go to the one that is called Repo Updates. Repo Updates. It is under the Important Things. Uh, I don't know what this is called. Like category. Repo updates. There are some things. Can you post a link? Yeah, for you. You can post a link. And you will be able to find it there. Uh, I'm not actually in a huge rush to take this tech. I could wait to get some cheaper tech by waiting for a neighbor to take it. The trial. I would gladly take monarch points. And there we go. Eliande has, in fact, formed. Uh, Crown Colony's fine. Right? Hmm. If I make this self-governing, I get another colonist when they get 10 provinces. Gives him a lot of liberty desire, though. We can switch it if we need to. All right, first colony. With the establishment of our first colony, the morale of the population is high, and we hope that it will remain this way. Okay, well, I don't need to collect this yet. Well, actually, I could get immigration first step going. And one province is owned by you or your non-tributary subjects. The city has a port... It has 15 development? Really? The Colonial Andreliande, Isles, or Dallaire. So I need to develop this. Hmm. Uh, transferring our population from one continent to another will be the hardest feat to accomplish. We need to prepare early on and dedicate all of our resources to the migration. Uh, Champy, thank you for the prime sub. Do appreciate it. There's nothing without a trade center because it will give you a trade center. Uh, okay. Lazy Collins? Yeah, I know. We just got him back. We're good. Do I want to move into this region now? No, I should grab these other islands. <laughs> the island there are high dev uncolonized provinces. You know about these islands? Yeah. True, I could go for one of those. The 11 dev already has a uh, thing. What's the mission after this? Ah. Okay, so we're going to want this done sooner rather than later for that global settler increase. In yeah, we definitely want it in Andreliande, for sure. We just have to kind of decide where, I guess. What's the terrain like? We've got grasslands up in here. So one of these grasslands might actually be the best play. Something with a good trade good, preferably. Like this tobacco wouldn't be a bad spot. We can pull that off. Do a little bit of Diplo Dev, a little bit of Mill Dev. Estuary in Sela, a good choice. 
here? Mm, yeah, but I don't own it yet. It's going to take me a while to get it. And I want more trade power here. It's farmland. Yeah, it is farmland, but I need trade power in this trade node, specifically. That way the Canorians don't steal it all. Uh, hey, Lex, you decided to take the tank and almost made Lambert cry? Yes. Yes. I I've played them before, but uh, was not able to finish them. And so we're going to try and, and finish it this time. We'll see. There we go. 15 dev. And we can complete New Dawn Harbor. With the increasing flow of goods and people from one side of the ocean to the other, it has become increasingly evident that we need a solid base overseas to handle all this traffic. Uh... Lose 100 Diplo power and Avon power, lose 100 crowns, gain 3 base production, 3 base manpower, 4 base tax. We get the Alari Sinel Harbor until the end of the game, gain plus 10 local trade power, and a level 1 center of trade. <laughs> there we go. So for this, I need to have a fully colonized thingy mabob. And we have administrated an empire. Nice. Price of paper has increased. Uh, Laurent. We are still doing this whole war thing, huh? Thank you. Can I have money? Thank you. Let me... Ooh. Build another troop. Get me a... Give me a general. And let some of the diet. Taking lands from the merchant's guild sounds really good, actually. So let's get to work on that. Is it time for seven cities? Uh, no. If I can guarantee that I get seven cities, sure. But since I can't guarantee it, it's not it's not worth it. Not worth the elven manpower. Our ideas looking for Laurent. Laurent has taken exploration. Duran has taken exploration and expansion. The gnomes have taken quality and administrative. Uh, I think we have you dev now. Pretty sure the Crownland reward is only like under 15% Crownland or something. What do you mean? Crownland reward. Do I need three and oh? No. An offer from Sornkost. Okay, so here we go. A group of nobles from Sornair have approached us with a tempting offer. Having heard of our plans to migrate to the New World, they are offering their funds and expertise, allowing us to build our colleagues much faster than we would be able to without them. In exchange, they would be promised rights to our island after we have left, of course. Okay. Estate mission. Oh, okay. Uh, do we say yes to this? Or do we want to give it to Laurent? Does it matter? Then you leave when they come asking. Gotcha. It's the same? Okay. Uh, so we gain 200 crowns. We gain an extra colonist, 10% settler chance, and plus 20 global settler increase. We will accept their thing. Check if they're a vassal. Uh, yes. Their independence is supported by Goed. All right. Uh, let's move into this region because I know this, I think this is where we move our capital eventually. So, or it's somewhere in here. Might be over here, actually. I'm not sure. But we know we want to own these. That we do know. Uh, grab another 20 global settler increase. Capitalist Quinnaland, okay. And the Nomish Hierarchy has formed. Good for them, I guess. 
That's a poor prize. I don't usually move cavalry though. Okay. Well, we know that we don't want the people showing up here, so might as well take it for ourselves. And you would best be colonizing somewhere. What the hell is that? Plus five? That's embarrassing. Plus five? Really? Five? Five? Okay, let's grab the next gold province. Also, we got naval goods there, unfortunately. Did Gwendolyn and I try this game like green scales to gnomes? Well, they're allied to the gnomes, but I'm not sure why they didn't take green scale faster. Guess I'll never know what they were thinking. Base element is minus five. Base element is minus... Oh, oh, you're talking about like what you would get. Because you get minus 40 for being an elf. So... All right, the need for more resources. With our growing population overseas, it has become increasingly evident that the resources of our home island alone aren't enough. It is time to make good use of our newfound colonies. Okay, we lose a bunch of development somewhere. I don't know where that is, but we lose a bunch of development. Uh, but for 20 years, we get global settlers. The colony, oh, it's in the colony? Uh, what? That doesn't make any sense. It's the seven. It's the first seven. Oh, alone aren't enough. I just, I just don't have reading comprehension. Okay, merchants are leaving. That's fine. So now we're up to a solid uh, 185 colonists. Lazy colonists. I do have a lazy colonist. Thank you. Uh, I suppose we move into the aisles then. Start to grab that. The capital. I want the only reason I'm hesitant to get the capital I want is I have to put troops there. Farland to Norman before they take it. What? They're not going to take it. We're fine. We are fine. Okay, there's another one. Complete. Oh, what's this? this one? Oh, it's that one. Okay. Uh, grab this. We elves. We are elves. It's mixed areas that spawn later. They will spawn later. Not much later, but somewhat later. And I would love to make it to where mixed doesn't spawn. I'm gonna be honest, I think this is just our next target, is right here. To make sure that Mix cannot spawn. Do not want Mix around at all. The rent's going to attack the ran. I'm sure that will make you regret having random islands later. Well, I mean, it'll be bad no matter what, so we might as well just do it. Just on regardless? Nope, that's not how it works. There are only certain provinces they can spawn in, and if you get rid of all those provinces, they cannot spawn. Why you hate pirates? Because they pirate me? What? Hello? <laughs> Mix is just a little guy. He's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. Yeah, a little ugly guy. Guy's ass. Alright. Casa Kaloon is completed. Uh, honestly, I think we should just focus here. Plus 190. We're playing the Bad Elves? We are playing the Bad Elves. What if they also sacrifice your people? Would you let them spawn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes you gotta let a few elves get sacrificed uh, for the greater good. For the greater good. Uh, treason against Vanail. I would like to not lose loyalty. Uh, we are gonna send our transports back now because we're probably gonna grab these guys. But I would like to get up over 30, well, at least, at least over 20 crown land before we send these troops away. Mm -hmm. Just tell Mix the Noish hierarchy has spawned and they'll be scared to spawn. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, fair enough. But come on. Come on. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to say that. 
All right. Colonize this and this. Just get as much of the ruined sea as we can grab. Our commandant is dead. Replace them with the uh, morale of armies. Sure. Grab another diplomat and reduce liberty desire on other continents. That is unironically nice. Also, the forgotten question. Our people were shocked to discover what became of the elves we left behind. What little sentience these feral beasts retain is consumed entirely by an instinctive hatred for us, their kin. We must put them in their place. Minus 60% native uprising chance. So that means when we finish this, we'll have no uprisings. <laughs> Dex comes with age. Advisor costs 33%. Well, that sucks. Corrupt Viceroys. Global tariffs. I don't want the yearly corruption for five years. But I'm going to take it anyways. Should just take down naturally because we're... Uh, yeah, we have positive stab and we're ahead of time. Cottage industry. Sure. <laughs> it's called Alien Tier because 50% of the names start with an A. Yes, actually. That's why. Mm -hmm. uh, just keep grabbing these islands. Because I know that's where Mix wants to spawn. And I do not want Mix to spawn there. Uh, just kidding. Just kidding. Recall. Also, we didn't get gold there either. Big sad. Big, big sad. Go for easy way to 666. Ruler, your true child's disaster. Well, to get Lithiel, we have to do the disaster. So, I'm afraid we've got to go for the disaster. Unfortunately. Sadly. Painfully, but we do. Good Lithiel route. I literally I literally started off the stream holding a battery. You, you can't expect me to go the good route after I've done that bit. It's too late. I've already sent it. There's no going back. There's no going back. We're here for a start. Oh, yeah, I held up a battery at the beginning, so we're going evil if you It doesn't count. Oh, well, cool. I can get out of my obligations. Let's go. Let's go. We've got until 35. It's not all that much time. Uh, I could purchase an age ability. Uh. Claims on claims? Aggressive expansion impact? War taxes. For your native wars. Hmm. There's your war taxes. Uh, I can get in over taking Diplotech. Or I could develop. I'll take the tech. Ooh, sugar. Dev colony's not an option. We already grabbed the uh, high dev colonies. No, that, I mean, that's the only one you can choose is Vanille, really. You've just done evil, Elsa, and vampires run back to back. Is there no more goodness in your heart anymore? Mm, Baldur's Gate 3, I'll be a good guy. Does that count? <laughs> Does that count? I gotta get all, I gotta get in all the evilness beforehand. Obviously, obviously. Fire that guy. That way I can afford more colonists. It means cheaper ideas. It means faster colonies. That's true. There's felt hats. Fully improved relations with Aliande. Laurent, can I please have money? Money, please. Thank you. Everyone but the nobles are loyal. Oh, my nobles are like super naturally disloyal. Por qué? No. It's not going to stop me from, you know, getting rid of you, but hey. We're not getting rid of you, but revoking crown land. With or without your permission.
No! They spawn on Far Isle. This is illegal. This is illegal. No! How dare you? Can I run with Duran? Duran, Duran? When's Lorenz Truce up with Duran? 97. Okay. How about Rubenair or Ellison? What about Ellison? Damn. Show strength. I could show strength. They do only have a thousand guys. Uh, let me send another colonist, self-governing, thank you, let me get access through Laurent, okay, go land them over here please, they only have a level one capital for it, they're up to 4,000 guys now. And it's time for orcs. 204 crowns and the price of interns goes up. Uh, anyways, we're going to encourage that and gain a bunch of uh, global sellers. We are the bad guys. All right, they are only tech 7. We are also tech 7. Okay, maybe I was a bit overconfident there. Uh, declare the war. Humiliate rival. We should just blow them out of the water. Figuratively speaking, of course. Uh, can I get rid of my access, please? Thank you. What? You cheaters. You cheater, cheater, pumpkin eaters. How dare you? <sighs> well, vassalize them? No. I can't get a claim on him. Besides, I don't care what the Elantiri people, not Elantiri, the Kenorian powers are doing. I got my own dealios. The rent's going to attack Madelaire. Okay. Do not call me into that war. I just realized what he's doing. No. Don't do it. I don't want to fight the Empire. I'm not interested. Uh, we're going to colonize this because I would like to start colonizing down here, but I can't because I can't get my transports over here. Because they are a little locked in. And unlike Duran, I'm not going to build... Shit. Please don't call me to this war against the Empire. Shit. We win these. Thirty-two percent defensiveness. Oh, revanchism and luck. Fuck you. We win these. All right, I need a general with siege. Who wants to be a general? You have to have Siege, though. You have to. We only have six army tradition, okay? I'm doing one single general, and then we're going to ask the estates for one. But I believe that one of you will have what we need. Here we go. Boom. That is literally could not be any more useless at the moment. Everyone will get you in there, too. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, well, 
That is literally two minimum pips in a row. That's very sad. Uh, we can get no need of uprising chance with that. And I can't get one from the general, so we're actually just stuck with what we've got. Oh, well. You're the great siege leader? Okay, I mean, hey, if you get two pips in siege, I'll be happy. I think that'll work. <laughs> huh. Okay, well. I mean, you weren't wrong. Not exactly what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Sure. <laughs> Bam. Six shock pips. You are, in fact, not fighting the entire empire. Let me in. Let me in. We win these. We're going to lose that stab. Do we want to go for the second? Yeah, we should. Uh, ships are being built and flags are being raised. However, this is merely the first step towards accomplishing this titanic feat. Titanic. Dun, dun, dun. We all know what happens to people that check out something about the Titanic. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Where are they taking our ships out to barrage? No, he has uh, four heavy ships. If I take my ships out, they will sink all my boats, and I don't want that. We are fine. <clears throat> Spymaster is down. I guess it's Diplo rep time. Oh, the bright side, at least we're looting. Okay, and losing a lot of stability here, folks. I'm, uh, I like that three stab that we had. Can we, uh, can we finish this war up, maybe? Eh? 42? Thank you. We're gonna finish expansion ideas. We'll get 15 more global settlers uh, and no way that is ridiculous that is ridiculous that that counts as only 90% it's because they own this do you think if I get cheeky and I build a troop here. Wait, 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 no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. I just need them to stop blockading my capital. Where'd your heavies go? I don't have any heavies. Big fight west coast. Uh, there's one heavy ship there. I mean, I guess I can grab... Uh... I'm gonna and try and chase him off, but... Our brain has been elected. I mean, we do have good boats. There's no way. There's no way. Okay, now, if I... Retreat and don't unpause. No! Oh, oh. We simply win these? Oh, he deleted his troops? He can't afford his army? Cool. Get these on siege and we're good. Okay. Uh, yeah, but... Hold on, give me a moment. <laughs> Let me get these troops out of here first. I 
Don't want to lose another stab. More colonial enthusiasm. Funny. Alright, and yes, we no longer have to deal with uh, dudes popping up and bothering us in the new world. And get back to protecting trade. And... Yeah, we're still losing a lot of money, though. Cotton's fine. Two manpower. Yes, we did We did get two manpower. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. We are making the minimum amount of manpower that you can get back. Election, we will, of course, re-elect. There we go, 663 now. Uh, should I start moving in here? Or do I really want to secure the Ruined Isles? It would be also nice if I can prevent Azraport from spawning too. If I can at least steal one of the provinces from Azraport. I'd be happy. I can drill you. Just to get some kind of professionalism going. Some kind. Uh, yeah, I can summon the diet. What do you want? I need to improve with the magisterium. Improve with Vern. You'll give me a cheaper diplomat. Sure. That I can do. I need to stop building a spy network. That's why it wasn't giving me a an option for it. He's already had it. Oh, he's on all the islands? What if I just colonize all of Aeland here? What if I just get it all? Let's go. I mean, un unironically, good plan, but... If I just build up a bunch of heavies, then I can just defend from Laurent as well. And just stay forever. Ooh, that's a lot of dudes. That is a hell of a lot of dudes. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to reduce that. That's a lot of dudes. <laughs> so, making it 7,000 is much better. Farrell is a point one, so hopefully we'll get rid of that before. Yeah, we will. Explore more? I mean, yeah, we can, but I also like protecting trade and making money. Explore the ruined sea coast. Sure. We have the good guy campaigns involved absolutely no war crimes whatsoever. That's true. Our history books will talk about how we never did any war crimes. All right, now we get to tier five military doctrines. <laughs> they were professionalism. I mean, there are worse options. We're not going for Marines. Do I want Marines? Am I actually going to take Marines? <laughs> Am I actually going to take Marines? I put it to a poll, but I already know what you guys are going to vote for. Fine, 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 fine. We'll choose the Marines. Okay, are you happy? We'll choose the Marines. There you go. Real Marine hours. Uh, for glory and gold. You know what? Let's just say no dwarves allowed. <laughs> Arr. <laughs> Jimmy, you go in the room of totally ethical source batteries. Yes, actually. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, all right. Now, let's start moving into here. Just so I can get a colony going. I want to be careful, though. I mean, we could go and fight this guy. And take his land and core it to get a colony. 
because we are caught up on admin tech. Yeah, let's start making the spy network on him. We'll just go down the list. They're tech three. They are in fact tech three. Are in effect tech three. Uh, you start transferring trade power out into Andreliande so I can make the trade monies from here. Look at all these elves. Look at all these elves. Oof, embarrassing Duran dying to Portnum. Cringe. But good for me. That'll boost my power projection up because we'll eclipse them. All right. Uh, let's build a couple more transports. That way we can move everyone over at once. That's where Mix. I don't know. I think Mix might be able to spawn on some of the other islands. I hope I'm wrong, though. That they're just gone forever now. I literally never have to deal with them again. That would be the hope. Dwarves are superior elves? Not true. They're short. Huge L for shorts, you know? Like, how are they supposed to reach things on the top of the shelf? They can't. Sorry. Not allowed. Can we put only a six call us 1492? True. True. Throwing, throwing, throwing. Not going fast enough. Not going fast enough. Okay, call it you. Three of Yeah, these ones. <laughs> I forgot about Vanille's colonization abilities. <laughs> I forgot about the colonization abilities. I can't hear you over the sounds of cannons blowing up your 300 year train katana wielding elven neckbeards. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you as your people slowly starve away underground because they're too damn stubborn to leave. Any missions you could do? Uh, no. Oh, Norwin, actually. So we should focus over here. <laughs> Rookie numbers, what you mean? Hey, Mr. Newt, who paid for this? No one. No one. I just decided we'd do some elf gaming. Feathery meals. I will take free admin points. Thank you. Hear the sounds of the screech of your ancestors who blew themselves up? That's fair. That's fair. Bold, bold words from a dwarf, though. Uh, feathery meals. I ate penguins? Wait, 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 wait. We can't eat the penguins, though. The penguins didn't do anything wrong. We should leave them. No, no, no. It's, uh, they're only called penguins because it's in this province specifically. But admin? No, I don't want to eat them, bro. They're, the penguins didn't do anything wrong. Credibuys leg and held it upside down. It made a great noise. Try to buy us with our large beaks. Our provisions are low. These birds are fat and look good enough to eat. I'm sorry, boys. Your sacrifice for the flock will be worth it in the end. <laughs> Worth the bags need to eat. True. Is this, but this is too far. <laughs> Eating penguins is too far over the line. All right. There's the tech. Transports are almost done. We can stop drilling. Fit the ship to PETA? No! No, please. I'm innocent. I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, that's one ugly looking bulwark right there. I'm gonna not look over there again. Uh, gonna explore the Torn Coast. To become the penguins, you must first let the penguins become part of you. <laughs> True. 
Does that mean I can revoke land again? It does. Hey, and no one can get mad this time. Where's this other ship? Oh, we're not waiting for that. Absolutely not. We're out of here. It's going to take forever. Glory Road. Okay. Go over here. That is the ugliest path in I think I've ever seen in my life. And go here. And we'll go pick up these four as well. Grubbar, you get your disgusting face out of here, okay? We don't need no Grom bar here in the new world. All right, you just go worry about not dying over in your region. All right, don't fall off this time, maybe. Disaster? Yeah, it's just a plutocratic coup. It won't happen. We're good. All right, make claim. Let's uh, say hello, perhaps. Munch, munch time. Okay, we're actually not immediately going to go for that. I'd like to find their troops first. Just call eyes around them. Leave two troops there. If I can find their units, that'd be great. Nope, unfortunate. Uh, I will take a Conquistador. Damn, unfortunately he did not have any... Uh, Siege Pips. <sighs> new terrain. It is new terrain, in fact. It is the Blood Groves, which gives minus one dice roll for attackers, plus 20% local development cost, and plus five supply limit. Which favorite evil? Yeah, we're going for the, <laughs> for the communist evil one. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> no, we're going for the batteries. We're going for the batteries. I'm debating on if I want to keep colonizing the islands or if I want to go back over here and grab this stuff. Praise Estera. Okay, we'll play the Diodaren. Make the pull. Pull for what? What do you pull for? Oh, for which one we're going to choose? No. There's no poll. I've already decided. This is not a democracy. <clears throat> Eliande's Islands? Eliande's Islands? Eliande's Islands? We're just going to go back down here, I think. Colonize the middle big island. This one? Or this one? Or this one? Come on, Indreliande? Is that what you're saying? Uh, so many colonies. I should improve with my colonial nations to make sure they stay in line. Stay in line till we are ready to. Uh, didn't I vassalize someone that I can do a simulate war on? I saved it, but we can't do it in the middle of war. <laughs> no, not a disease outbreak for elves. That's like a disaster. That's like six generations worth of humans gone in an instant. What are we supposed to do? How will we replace them? Hey, look, they're there. We are about to max out on Diplo points. Okay, so... Do I want to develop this? Or do I want to develop over here? I probably want to develop over here, right? 
because this is going to become my land anyways. It's all going to get moved over, but at least here I get to choose where it goes, right? The only downside is, the only downside is that I can't get benefit out of it immediately, which kind of sucks. Here, I'll get rid of the devastation in our land. I could choose valuable trade goods around here that I can develop. Like that. Something like that. Uh, What can I take in this war? Pull that back. Oh, no. Aren't they just going to migrate when I do this? Isn't that what they're going to do? They're just going to migrate away into one of these other, one of their tribal lands? No, you think they die? Are you sure? Guess we'll find out. We do have to go fight them. Yeah, they're going to just run away into the fog of war. It's Conquistador, though, right? You are. So it don't matter. You can't hide from me forever. Oh, hey, what's this? Wait a second. What in God's name is this? What do you mean? That's cheating. I can't fully annex him. Oh. What the heck? Move colony outplayed. True. Am I close to finishing any of my colonies? Yeah, that one's almost done. New settlement? I would love to have that done. I know you want to call for peace, but uh, you're not getting away without getting annexed. You son of a biscuit. We're almost there. And boom. What? See, it's not saying full annex, which, you know, it's got me nervous. What if he's got more land up here? We gotta check. No, he doesn't. All right, well, guess we'll find out. Nope, he dead. Uh, do I want to core that up? Not really. <laughs> Not really. I could just wait for my colonial nation to spawn and then they can core it. Yes? But we have admin efficiency. Debuffs. Another three years. Planation will struggle to spawn. Okay. Now we have to keep our troops around here to do with rebels. We have to stay here. The Tenek Core get the coast, the northern one. These ones? Lazy cause, thank you. Do research is wrong. Explore. The winch gotta go over there. Okay, it's another colony done. Self-governing. To ruin. What? Oh, right, right. That bug is still in the game, huh? Where if you start to core colonial provinces and then 
your Colonial Nation spawns, they get them for free. I forgot. I forgot about that. But yeah, that's a thing. Uh, I can't really afford to have Mercs. I don't have the force for it. Don't have the force limit. Actually, I guess we don't need Mercs to do it. Because we have 0% Uprising, so we can just send them out. Lorraine, can you just, like, not, man? Are we going to war with Ellison at all? Yeah, we are. Rubenair. Madeleine. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. When's your truce up with Laurent? 1508, we have time. We got time. Age ability, we should start Golden Age now, right? No. No, we should save it for the dark times, right? Last size Duran? No. Nope. 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 Have not vassalized Duran. Will not vassalize Duran. Rather not piss off uh, Lament like that. We're going to take Thorn Cost and keep Dawn's past 1535. I am considering it. If Thorn Cost gets their independence, yes. If they don't, no. All right, new settlements. Uh, okay. Preparing sufficient housing for our settlers will require a lot of land in the new world as our crowded cities will need to expand themselves towards untamed land. 15 prestige and 100 admin diplo points. That maxes us out and means that I can go through and do some development. There's another merchant that we have access to. Go ahead and transfer trade here. And just cut them off. There we go. Another one's completed. Let's grab this island up here. And then I think we need to take this island too. I mean, eventually they're going to get the range, right? Like, there's only so much we can do. Eventually, everyone will get range, but we're trying to slow them down as much as possible. Much as possible. And you can be brought back, and we can just go to having one pre relations with our subjects. How are we looking on loyalty? Yeah, they're all staying in line. Tariffs on tea? No. No tariffs. Tariffs bad. Tariffs no good. Build troop. One single troop built. You got it. You got it, boss. Uh, you advocate blocking space north of Stalwart Outpost. Stalwart Outpost. Yeah, I don't know where that is. I'm not gonna lie, I've got no idea where that is. Stalwart Outpost. Ah, everything. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. You know what? We're going to core this. Let's go. Huge. We're about to max out on points again. Uh, I can stab up. <laughs> yeah, we should grab this. Pillar of Heavens. I always get Pillar of Heavens. Why can't I get a different one? Yeah, go find it. Go get the Pillars of Heaven or whatever. 
Man. I always get that one. No matter where I go. Skip it? No, I'm not going to skip it. Like, it's there. I'm going to take it, but doesn't mean I won't complain about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get our boats into port. Don't need to take Diplotech yet. Doing fine. Keep exploring. Yay, fish. What do the pillars do again? Uh, we get some Dave's here thing or something. Portnum lives! That's surprising. We are, I am once again asking you to not max out on Monarch points. We are once again asking. Or do not read books. Well, I don't appreciate that. But we don't need to take the tech anyway, so. Doesn't really matter. Now, what does it? Rent's going to attack Duran. Damn. I'm sure that Duran is still there. Otherwise, I'd do another uh, show strength. Thank you, Laurent, for your money, though. Appreciate it. Oh, Grombar is apparently in a war with Gawed and the Gnomish Hierarchy, who is the number eight great power. That's actually who's replacing us. Huh. Go Gnomes. Look at that. Wow. I like it. What do you want? They want the Lonely Isle. Well, Coat Maltese. Lazy Colony. Thank you. I'm going to grab this. Can I revoke land again? I can, but the nobles would not be happy, and so we're not going to. Because I can't actually deal with them. Uh, I don't need to take the admin tech, so we're not going to. We're definitely not clicking that button. Definitely not doing that. Take this one. Uh, who can I go to war with now? Yannick wouldn't be bad. But LA2, Inek. Let's build a spy network on him. Of course, the more land we take, the worse the disaster is going to be. But the more land we take, the bigger the name on the map. And so, therefore, good. So, therefore, good. Decadence comes with age. Rip. Rippy Dippy. Sela has been colonized. Do I keep going down here? Do I keep going up here? There are so many options. So many options. Make it more colonial nations. Also uh, a valid idea. You can go down to here maybe. Both. Both is good. All right. Launch final preparations. More than effort. We need the blood and sweat of the whole nation to keep up the migration. This is but the start of a much greater adventure, and everyone has a mountain to build. 200 of each monarch point, and uh, we get nailed with really bad debuffs for 10 years. Yeah, we could grab one down here. I would like to grab this island, honestly. It's where the Vanbury Guild can't spawn. But at the same time, it would be just the Vanbury Guild that owns that, which makes it rather easy to munch. Read mission requirement. It needs us to have a port with at least 20 development. Done. Yeah, done. Uh, prepare the new capital. As we approach the final step of our grand goal, we need to make sure our new capital will be able to accommodate the housing and administrative demands of our country. Yep, could have done estuary. Hmm. Yeah. That's true. I mean, it's still here, though. It's not that big of a deal. 
Livestock capital, huge. Yeah, I don't really care. Do I care? Do I care? Wow, livestock or fish? Pick your poison. I don't care. Uh, gain nine more development there and a level one center of trade. Yeah, I do not. I do not care. Uh, learning from the heathens. Surely that will work. Surely they'll be willing to give up information if we ask them very kindly. Convert provinces that were taken by natives. Yeah, that's not a. That is a really good call. Actually, we can start to convert them. Uh, explore. Shouldn't that worry? We'll be all right. Switch early to 1509, but you should call nice till Stormcoast is knocking. Yeah, there's. Uh, I can't imagine a reason to leave earlier. I mean, other than maybe that your your colonies are getting uh, disloyal. We're actually gonna recall that. And I'm gonna grab the center of trade on this island. And then we're going to go for Sorowin. Uh, why does it smell like boiled penguin and torture in this chat? <sighs> That's a very odd thing to know what it smells like. Why do you know what those things smell like? Hmm? Hmm? Interesting. Very interesting. Just saying. I kind of want Yannick to live, though. Like, I want them to settle all this, because then I can take it all. What a dodgy answer. I'm just I'm just pointing out facts, right? That someone else is saying it smells like torture. How do they know what torture smells like? <sighs> kind of sus, right? It's kind of sus. Not my first time to boil a penguin, and not a mistake I plan to make twice. You, you conveniently did not address the second part. No! They're here! No! Go away! Boo, 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 boo. Boo, 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 boo. We don't want you here. You... Why are you colonizing this? I guess it's an estuary. You disgusting colonizers, get out of here. All right, you don't belong here. Oh, now the DTC is here too. Or the CTC, sorry, the CTC. Great news though. Mix does not exist. Quick claim and murder. Um... I mean, we could. We can try. We would need to murk up, though, pretty significantly. Oh, you want to rival me? Never mind, we'll kill him. You sons of guns. You sons of guns. Why is it asking me to core this? Really? Seriously? I'm the only person in the world d -d 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 with a colonial nation. Multiple colonial nations. And you just give it to Laurent? They don't have a single colony, my guy. Not one. It's gonna go back to the year tick, I guess. I think back to fifteen hundred, right? <sighs> ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. It's just, it's just, it's just wrong. They're wrong. The game incorrect. 
I spawned colonialism. <laughs> I spawned colonialism. I am the colonialism. Well, now that we know they're on their way, maybe I should send a couple of colonists down to the islands to prevent the CTC from getting so much land. You know? I think spawn later. Yeah, I did spawn later. Colonialism has not spawned yet. Metagaming? No. Think of it less as metagaming and more as L plus ratioing. Okay, there's the Durant Trade Company. The CTC is back down here. Cestier Mark is there. The Sornic Sun. Oh my god. What the f why do you have so many troops? Well, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Well, that's not good. Because uh, they could definitely hurt us a lot. Okay, let's get a claim on these guys. Then whenever they're done colonizing, we can try and kill them or something. They'll stay that strong for 20 years. Well, I don't like that. We should probably improve relations with them. Valor Point has announced me as a rival. Hey, here's my take. They shouldn't be allowed to spawn adventurers over here. Why? Why? Why do they deserve it? They haven't done nothing. Also, we still don't have colonialism. Do you elect one more time? You have a 666? I mean, there's a very easy way to solve that problem. They just die. Uh... Yeah, let's keep going down the aisles, I guess. Make a backup save in December? Yeah, we'll make a save here in a couple months. Because it's ridiculous that I do not get colonialism. I have discovered like, most of Aelin, dear. Alright, make a save. And now we get colonialism, right? No gap still open. I am aware it is still open. There are other places that we need to go, though. <laughs> Easy. Wasn't even worried about it. Wasn't even worried about it. changes everything. This changes absolutely nothing. First try. <laughs> First try. Let's go. Uh, uh, I would like to ally these guys. Preferably. There's no reason to embrace yet. It will spread. I have a colonist I need to use. Move south. Marleande, vampires. Okay. Ah. You disgust me, Sorncost. That wasn't part of the deal. The deal was you get my island and you don't get to colonize. That wasn't actually the deal, but that's the deal that I'm making up in my head. Why? Why did you just get black flagged and rough? Oh, the gunky sword died. That would do it. That would do it. 
gift to the state. I will take that. Money, money, money. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that means that we need to focus over here. We need to really double, triple, quadruple down. Because they are getting closer. Sonic Sons, can we not be friends, man? Can I revoke Crownland yet? Nope. Can do this. Can we colonize there? Sure, I can do that. That is absolutely doable. Okay, Sornic Sons, you still do not want to ally me, and that is a little bit worrying. I'll not lie. Ice Queen again? Well, in a way, yeah, sure. I guess. We get that colonized. Helium gets Westward Fleets. Get some cocoa. We're chilling. We're chilling. Yep, now we're just waiting for that. Stab three. Army equal to or larger than 40,000. Okay. But this is the mission that inherits our colonial nations. But they gives this plus 80 global settler increase. And it happens. Uh, we are about to max out on admin points. Buy down some inflation then. Let's see how that goes. Love for you guys to get loyal so I can revoke some crown land. That way I don't have this plus 10 tech cost. Preferably. <sighs> We'll see. We'll see. Oh, right. We didn't start converting that in this uh, timeline. And this is when we play as Osgarom. Let's go. <laughs> no, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be staying as this. Good luck, orcs. Remember... Actually, don't remember anything about us, preferably. Probably do Seeking Revenge. We're still very close to having this done. It's so expensive to develop over there. It's literally not worth it. <laughs> the Intern Republic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spices, learning of an elder. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 655. 655. Uh, in this timeline, you didn't colonize Ricard Port slash Van Buren Guild. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. We'll just we'll just fight the Van Buren Guild when push comes to shove. And the orcs are going to be so kind as to uh, colonize for us. Want to ally me yet? Nope. You sure don't. What's autonomy over here? Six? It's not that bad. There we go. Embrace. And... Develop. There's no reason to take the tech. Oh. 665. Penny Duran, no longer a valid arrival, revoke that embargo. And grab me a, another colonist. Uh, where do I want to put him? Over here. For sure. And as for this merchant. I suppose. I suppose we can pull from Sorwin. Uh, Sorna can spawn? Sorna can? Sorna can spawn? What do you mean?
Snow Queen is the other one. They haven't colonized. Well, that's not true. Sword Cost has started to colonize one province. That's the only one. Everyone else doesn't have the distance, apparently. Not allowed. Uh, mill tech, we could take early for some inno on the year tick. The reference. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I do see them. I'm trying to ally them. And I would insult their rival, but uh, that's my colonial nation, so. I'd rather not do that. Because we're an expansionist, I can gain one tax and one manpower in uh, first sight. Cool. I like two free development. Two free development is good. Is good, is good, is good. Okay, waiting for the year tick here. We can go back to speed five. Don't know why we're on speed four. No longer in a war. The Arnarch's attacking ground bar. So ground bar's dead again. Cool. Incense. Oh, no Sargi. No, they haven't done nothing yet. A new settlement. Sure. Thank you. Very kind. That's a max out. It is the year tick, which means it's time to take that tech. Yay! Uh, give me the new inventory. It goes all province on entering my game. Well, I'll tell you what, they won't do that this time. Oh, they even got gold for me? How kind. That's very kind of them. Uh, we are maxed out on admin again. But we're just going to take the techs, I think. We're just going to take it and get over it. Marhold has the peasants for <laughs> Rip Marhold. Rippy dippy. What is going on in here? Whoa! Damn! I know you're the Emperor, but I, oof. You're putting Ivar in their place up into the silent repose. That's gonna be a strong Emperor. A very strong Emperor. Unpopular mathematician. 20 prestige for one inno. Sure. Why not? Why not? Uh, oh, also, for those of you that care about uh, Baldur's Gate 3 information, um, there is a new video that Larian Studios posted today about one of the villains. Obviously, it is a bit spoilery, so I'm not going to give you any details. But uh, this villain is insane. And I think they will be uh, very interesting to interact with. Do I have 15 provinces in Norin? Do you have 15 provinces in Norin? The answer is no, I don't. So I need to continue that. <clears throat> but if you are interested in watching that, it is on the Larian Studios uh, YouTube channel. Also, we're like... I can't do math. We're only like a couple days away from the release now, right? Monopoly company. Money or Diplo? I'm going to take the money. Because I kind of need it. Kind of need it. Six days. And it's released at a very convenient time for me. Uh, rip to Europeans? But it's released at 8 a.m. for me, which means I can get up, download it, and then hopefully within two hours uh, be ready to stream it. I guess it depends on if Steam crashes or not. <laughs> uh, ooh. But as long as Steam can handle it, then I'll be starting literally as soon as I can. Literally, as soon as I have the capabilities to stream it, I will stream it. That's not true. I'll probably have a direct time. Oh, there's the rent. I'll probably shoot him for like 10 my times, so like two hours when we started earlier today. How many times we load for colonialism? Only once.
Only once. All right, and that was a conversion. Which is nice. Oh, they've accepted that culture. That's so sweet. That's so kind of them. I'm sure that will last. Nice uh, trade centers. Yeah. Why can't they all just stay in Kanor, where they belong, right? Like, they're not even from here. We're from here. This is our land. Clearly. <clears throat> and Conquistador dead. I'll go back out and explore some more. Ooh, gold. Wow. Our eco will be very fine. Uh, we're just going to need a lot of admin to buy down inflation, apparently. Also, you unironically only doing six colonies at once to mail us this much yearly settlers. Yeah, because if I go really any farther than this, I'm going to go bankrupt and die. I'd rather not die. Oh. I do need to be a three stab for a uh, mission, so might as well get it up there. Oh. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. The rent's going to attack Ellison. Is that one of my rivals? Nope. Is not. Is not. Deck them, you have CB. Deck who? Sorn cost? That's not going to go too well. Uh, that's not going to go too well if I go to war with them. That's death. <laughs> uh, wow, our natural scientist died. They were alive for a long time. Long time. They served us well. Instrument, okay, Laurent calls me into a war. That's fine. <sighs> Laurent, can you just piss off, man? Grain. anti monstrous They're monsters? <laughs> Hello, orcs? <laughs> no. No, no, no. We will just... <sighs> That's fine. I don't care what people that are over here colonize it. It just sucks when it's Laurent. Because they don't have to, like, sell them a province so they can get a colonial nation, and then we can do shenanigans to annex their colonies. We'll go grab this. Uh, so many points need to be spent. So many points, so many points. We'll plug this gap now. <laughs> there we go. Isabellan has announced us as a rival. Okay. Don't even know where Isabellan is. I know it's over here somewhere. All right, a new beginning. I don't know if I want to click this yet. This is all your problems in Kanar. Yeah, no, I don't want to click that. In fact, I'm just going to get rid of the pop-up. Otherwise, I'll keep clicking on it. Go, grab these two. 
Think the big three can't die because the five star actually delusional? Guess we'll find out. All right, uh, tier six, separation of powers. Well, we're going to switch out of a republic, so it doesn't really matter what we choose. Right? Parliament for the call. Oh, that's true. That's true. I didn't even think about that. Mm. Yeah, this one. Give our capital a seat. And what do they want for it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Parliament. <laughs> Only needs to give it to one province. <laughs> I'm going to put it on the other ones because it gives us more money, but uh, that's fun. Parliament, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Very representative, very representative. Just keep on colonizing. Pillars of the Heavens, Twisted Guardians. 33% chance we die. We don't die. Easy. We are simply too cool to die. Uh, I hate to say that we have too many Monarch points at the moment. I need to start developing my colonial nations. Well, it is all important places to represent the parliament. Yeah, well, I guess for these guys, that's true. Take that, you know. Adventurers insult the clergy. Why can't we all just get along? Why can't we? Oh, right, we don't have nobles anymore, which means my colonies are actually more expensive. I think we'll be all right. Get to moving, boys. Get to colonizing. Laurent is going to attack Duran. Okay, but maybe this time you'll annex them? Yeah? I don't know who the hell Isabella is, but... Well, they're all the way over there. Alright, get rid of all of you. Focus Norman. We have enough for that mission. We have enough for the mission. Still, Durant, Durant doesn't have any colonies. The only people in Kanor that have colonized literally anything are Laurent with this province and Sorenkost with these two provinces. That's it. Everyone else is, is just adventurer tags that just magically got to spawn in. Because, you know, most of the time Laurent or uh, Vanale doesn't take everything. Is it all of it soon? Yeah, but wouldn't I rather, like... Secure all this stuff to make sure colonizers don't snag it. Right? No? Uh, do we want to take this idea group early? Yes. But then to take what? It's either Diplo or Admin. Either Diplo for the province war score cost reduction or admin to get the CC. Infra for colony dev bonus. No, because I know what the mission tree wants us to do. It wants us to take all this. We're going to need admin ideas for that. Do Inno? No, we don't go for Inno. Inno's not the play. Ugh. The problem is the infrastructure is too good. 
<laughs> the problem is infrastructure is just really good, even without the policy. It's just a, it's just good. But I think we have to go admin. I would love to go inno, but we have to go admin. We have to get that core cost reduction. There's no choice. Uh, you have cows. You aren't developed enough. You have cows. You have cows. I will help with GovCap and send through disaster. True. True. Why not a mill group? Uh, I, I would love to take a mill group, but it's just... The mission tree is going to have us take so much land that we need admin ideas. And like, yeah, we could abandon the colonial stuff eventually, but... That's not for a while. I'm just trying to secure this island first. And then I'll move into doing Norwin. Maybe we take Diplo early. We're about to max out. Yeah, it gives Global Settler. We'll take it. <laughs> Next time, Maritime Ideas. <laughs> true. True, 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 true. Zanlieb apparently is a valid rival. Okay. Clergy are almost loyal. Then I can snag some more crown land. I do enjoy that mix does not exist. Do you enjoy that, the very least. Uh, go ahead and ignore them. There's another colony complete. And snag you. Philvis wants an alliance. Oh, Sornic Sons, I will go ahead and ally you. That's a very short-term alliance. I just don't want them to flip hostile and attack me uh, with 21,000 troops right now. Like, we're allied to the rent, so they shouldn't, but you know how AI allies are. They'll probably, they'll probably screw you over. Also, our Conquistador died again. Uh, our Conquistador simply lived difficulty level impossible, apparently. Okay, it's another colony. Um, yeah. Yay, money! Money! Okay, I want to get this island too. Right, that is converted. Let's go ahead and get that one converted as well. Add to manage the rental lights. Uh, just improve relations with them until they have more than 100 opinion. They will no longer be hostile. And then there's a chance that they will flip friendly. Uh, Vanelli arcs. As the recolonization continues, our ship rights have developed massive arcs that can carry myriads of colonists using only a skeleton crew. Let's adapt these developments for the rest of our fleet. 10% morale of navies and minus 10% sailor maintenance. <laughs> we be colonizing. Oh, we're down here now. <laughs> Actually, we can. <laughs> we can reelect. We're good. Let's have a five. All right. Send colonist there. Real colonial gameplay. <laughs> Valor Point has announced me as a rival. Why everybody be rivaling me? I didn't even do nothing. This I haven't even done anything yet. I've just been chilling. Yet, yeah. like we, eventually we will do crimes, but for right now, no crimes. I'm innocent. What path are you choosing? The bad one. The super bad one. The battery one. Excellent. Okay, send a colonist there. And now 
yeah, you're not cutting me off. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Learnings of an Elder. We can't click that, so instead I will grab the admin points to get closer to another admin idea. That will work. Take Miltech a little early. Don't need to, though. Backo, alright. Lexus to clear warrant Silver Forge. Good for them, I guess. Not my problem. There we go. Plus one possible advisors is good. Where am I? Oh, these islands. You know what? We should stake these up if we're going to keep them. I'll just leave them half stated for now. That might focus on my ideas, but we should get that autonomy down. <laughs> Money. Oh, that's because I don't have another colonist. Or I have a lazy colonist, I should say. Uh, go snag a province here on this island, just so I can land troops there and then fight them. An island is uncolonized in the West Sarhal Islands. You are correct. You are correct. There is. I can't seem to click on it. There we go. So we'll want to grab that. Um, we can go adaptive combat terrain, I suppose. It's probably not going to be all that helpful, but better than nothing. All right. Where to next here? Do not let them get this entire island, please. I would like it for myself. Uh, we'll deal with the orcs when the time comes. Take that tech early. Get some inno. There's another colony. Uh, no. Tempting, but no. I'll grab this. That way I can have control over this area. That'll be good. Hydrate, hydrate, you got it. It's on the end of Norwin. Yep, that's another one. Uh, I already own Lonely Island. Uh, hey, Froheim. A very circular region. Eh, yeah, that's what happens when a magic nuke goes off, essentially. Uh, I will take those admin points. And I will upgrade my cannons and my horsies, even though we don't have any. Because we haven't needed them. I can build three more troops, though. So let's do that. Uh, <clears throat> I demand, okay. Just saving up this money. Because I don't really want to make my colony too strong at the moment, but I do need to spend money at some point. Sworn cost is moving down here. The DTC is also moving down there. Let's keep getting these islands. As many as I can grab. That was no nuke. That's dwarf propaganda. <laughs> true. True. Dwarves are simply lying. Never happened. <laughs> Alright. And there's the core creation cost. That is nice. Core Knight Proclamation does not affect us in any way, shape, or form. At least for the moment. I mean, eventually we'll probably have Core Knight people over here, but for now, we are safe from them. <laughs> but not to deal with them. Right, tariffs on sugar. How's loyalty looking? Looking decent. Blueborn is completed. I could continue. The problem with colonizing up here is I don't get this trade. It's like, it's good to have this, but it's not like super beneficial. It'd be better to go grab this. Do Coronites provide more or less energy? <laughs> Probably more. 
they're more zealous, which means that obviously that's got to attribute to, or contribute to something, right? How many troops do you have set to your mark? Because your days are limited. Once they get close to 100% war score, we have to kill them. Uh, there's another one. Apparently the orcs have decided to rival us. Uh, I'm going to colonize this just to make it to where they colonize slower out onto this peninsula. Just because I'm an ass. It's literally it. That is literally it. Uh, not my problem. You will deal with your own dudes. Trade protection against Gwed, apparently. Am I getting pirated? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Laurent, hey, you're asking me for money? Ooh. I love colonizers. I love the AI colonizing. I love how reasonable they are about me finding gold. Uh, can I have money, please? No. I could increase their trust, but we're going to have to find them at some point, so it's not really all that big of a deal. Triple A, Rube, one of these holy powers, double A, would you like, sir? Uh, I've got... Um, Energizer, not sponsored. Max, double A's. Need more double A's. Uh, do I record these? No, I'd rather just keep going through this. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Look at that useless thing that we're about to get. Promote culture cost. Funny. Funny joke, game. Funny joke you've got there. Funny, funny, funny. Hmm. <laughs> Guys, let's just stop talking about victory. All right, you either like it or you don't. We can move on. It's fine. We'll survive. Uh, other things to do. Our colonial ventures are proceeding smoothly, but it has come to our attention that certain resources from alien tier could be better allocated. Let us charge a small tariff on goods from alien tier to help cover our rising operational costs. I'm sure they won't mind. 15% global tariffs and 10% liberty desire in subjects. Reduction. Not more. Reduction. Hmm. <laughs> It is 1519, so we are getting closer to the time when we are going to be forced to uh, migrate over. Or Sorn Cost is going to, you know, munch us. I'm going to totally cut this off. Uh, it's actually not the worst national idea. The just for that liberty desire, if we were having trouble with it. Since we're not, I mean, it's not be very useful, but if we did have an issue. One of those means Laurent. Okay. That's completed. So let's get more of Norwin. Oh, and we just lost a colonist. So let's go ahead and get that colonist back. Thank you very much. So, which colony just lost a colonist? That is the question. It was you. Okay, Valor Point. Sornikand is going to attack Sestier Mark. Is he going to call me in is the problem? Because he might. I I could not declare first. I don't have a claim. Damn. How many rivals do I have? A lot. I'm the player, so I have to have rivals. That's just how it works. That's just how it works. Our colonies do have a lot of troops, though, to be fair. Okay, Conquest of the Case of Mists. 125% for all other things. The only problem is I don't have any ships. I need to build heavies. 
As much as I really don't want to build heavies. Give me five heavies. Free colonists, thank you. Two free colonists. Go about to max out on Diplo again. We're just gonna keep developing in this region. Let's get this gold up to ten. Get that gold up to ten as well. That will help our economy when we switch over. A few missions, anyways. Uh, I I don't know the exact requirements for boats and such. To be honest with you. That's so much gold? It is. It is so much gold. Tis, in fact, so much gold. Laurent is doing the conquest of Trollmark. Haven't mentioned how much I love colonizers in this game. gonna loot how much I love colonizers I can't even get down there uh, bright side though I can prevent Sorna can from taking this province lazy cause you're a lazy colonist you're a lazy colonist. You're a lazy colonist. We're all lazy colonists. Okay, we can prevent Sword of Can from grabbing this. I... Okay. Well, gotta replace those troops now. Do I have access over there yet? I do. Lazy Collins, I, I, it, just got, it just got done. It literally just got done. It just gave me the pop-up. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm getting there. I just got it. Recommendation Collins themselves. Uh, Well, if they aren't, uh, I'd be very sad, but I'm pretty sure they are. Yes. These guys are for sure. Uh, these guys, yes. They're also getting there. They just take a lot longer than we do, because, you know, they don't get the broken buffs that we do. Which is fine. It's fine. I'm not mad. Hey, we need to get over here and prevent Laurent from taking as much as we can. Why is this? Why? I. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Laurent will get a colonial nation and then we'll just kill the colonial nation when we break our alliance with Laurent. I'm just hoping to keep the Laurentish alliance through our. disaster. I should just max out our trust here as much as we can. Uh, is there a reason you don't go look at the inter-regions on the islands? These? Uh, no. No reason in particular. Oh, now I can't get back through. Great. Great, 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 great. Uh, can I please have a general? Nope, because I don't have nobles. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Who wants to be a general? Yay! Da -da 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 -da. Step on down. Who wants to be a general? Who would like to lead the armies? You do have 11 army tradition. So you will not be very good, most likely. But, to be fair, we did get a 6 shock general with, like, 6 army tradition. So, are you feeling lucky, punk? You know? I'm just saying. Look. You can't be any worse than that. You can't be any worse. Literally. That is, that is the worst general I could probably get. And boom. Max pips. Well, I mean, at least you have a siege pip. I'll take it. 
I will take a siege pip. <laughs> Best general. True. True. Carried us. Even though you didn't really do much, but the threat of you made it to where enemies didn't want to deal with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. Okay, we don't want to take too much attrition here because we're elves. So let's just be smart about things. Okay, Cestia Mark is out. Can walk on home. Looks like Shofa is actually getting most of Valor Point, which I mean... Yeah, it's because it's their core, so the ranch is going to give the course back to Shofa. It's fine. Bring our heavy ships around. There we go. That's five heavies. That should be enough to deal with these guys. Though we are in a war with them right now, so we can't really uh, betray them. Is the problem. Won't work. Won't work. There's ad ideas for monthly autonomy change. Sword cost has been annexed, by the way. So it's just Laurent. And I would assume that Laurent gets the same promise now that they own the land. I would assume we can't scam them like that, even though it would be very funny. <laughs> very funny indeed if we could. Uh, let's see here. Look at that. No lazy colonists. Not allowed. I would never have a lazy colonist. Never, ever, ever. Boom, boom. Send them. Then when this is done, boom. Send them. Easy. On top of it. We are on fire. Not literally, though. All this money. Okay, almost done with admin ideas would be nice. A very green yin. It is unfortunately a very green yin. Yes. But it's Stan Riharda who has all of the Yosahars. So it could be worse. Could be all. Also, look at this Riyadh crab. He's colonizing like crazy. He's going for it. So you guys move out? Yeah, I know. We've got 11 years left before Lorenz going to come and knock and be like, hey, you owe me land. And I'd be like, well, technically, the deal was made with Sorncost, and you are not the duchy of Sorncost that we made the deal with. So actually, I don't have to give you anything. Do we want to try and fight Lorenz? Not that navy. I mean, we can upgrade our navy. It's really taking like 20 years to prepare. We've already done the preparing. We can click the button to move whenever. Like, what I'm saying is, we don't necessarily have to... Well... I guess the only reason to keep going would be to keep colonizing like this, and I'd rather just start the disaster than do that. We do lose the four colonists in the colonial nation, though. That's true. Shit, do we want to fight Loren? What does Loren's navy look like? They have six heavies. We could absolutely beat Loren in a war. They're also behind on Diplotech. And we have morale of navies and our national ideas. We have 20% heavy ship combat. We could thrash Loren. It would not even be close. Huh? 
How strong are Laurent's colonies? Laurent has colonies, but no colonial nations. I just have one troop sitting next to all of them and take it. The better move over. No, I don't want to move over yet because I get colonies from my colonial nations. And then I can go and take it all. You know what? Fuck it. We ball, bro. Let's go. What is Laurent going to do? Build me. Honestly, 10 heavies should be enough. Get those 10 heavies ready. Don't worry, Laurent. We're definitely going to stay allied and we're definitely going to be homies and have a good old time together. Swordcast was supposed to make two payments. We never received the payment, so it deals what? Yeah, 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 you know. They didn't read the fine print. Isn't the best person to get as many clonations as possible now? Yes, but I still... I Well, that's what I'm doing. Well, colonial nations, yeah, you want me to go up here and colonize. But I would rather secure all this to make sure Laurent has the least amount of land down here. And we're gonna... I don't need that. Definitely need to increase land force limit, though. <laughs> the great news is our colonies will fight for us. They're, like, super loyal. And they have way more troops than we do. <laughs> way more troops than we do. Uh, let's develop these dyes a bit. Man, Inter Ruins going to love us. They're like, yeah, thanks for all the development. If Lorraine can't back the threats, they get the hand. Uh, true. I mean, hey. You can't back up your threat. And it's not a threat. Why are we still in this war? Oh, because we're at war with the CTC. Oh, honestly? I'm cool with that. All right, uh, elves around the globe. Thanks to the nautical advances pioneered for the trips to Alentir, our vessels are now able to sail anywhere across the globe, allowing our... Diaspora? I've seen this word before, I just forgot how to say it. Uh, to venture to the farthest reaches of the land. This may prove useful in building a truly global trade network. Plus one naval land, naval leader maneuver, and plus one merchants. We choose a new colonist lo merchant location. Five gold promises? Yes, there's a lot of gold in here. <laughs> we got very lucky with that. We got very, very lucky with that. No doubt about it. Policy is seller chance and global seller increase. Yeah, we will lock that in. Lock that in. 171. Not as good as it used to be, but it's okay. Tariffs on wine? No. Age ability? Start golden age, for sure. Now we do want to start a golden age, if we're going to fight Loren. Even if we do have a large advantage, it ain't large enough. Hey, 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 you get out of here. You disgusting uh, Anbinarians. You get out of here. You're not welcome in these parts. What do you mean I have rebels? I don't have rebels. My vassals have rebels. Not my problem. Oh, hey, can I peace out? Thank you. No. Banbury Guild. <laughs> They're not happy with me and I took this province. Decision <laughs> for New World Charter. Ah, uh, the clergy need 40 influence or more. I need to give them something else. I mean, eventually this will work. Uh, to be fair, this will always work. And let's get back to doing some exploration. Because that will increase... Uh, let's upgrade these ships. Because that will increase our naval tradition, which will give us more morale of navies. There we go. And that's one, two, three, four. That's five. So he's going to get a colonial nation there. And the rent won't join here. 
How close are my other heavies to being done? 60% of the way. Honestly, I think we could just beat them straight up. Take the Cape of Miss. Rent won't join. I want to go take the Cape of Miss immediately. Oh, that is a terrible admiral, all things considered. That's right, get your ships out of here. Get your disgusting ships out of here. Now, we do have to land. That is an issue. Lazy call, thank you, yes. Do not, chat, do not let me get distracted by this war too much. Okay, so I've got to figure out how to land here without him killing me. <laughs> uh, I think the answer is just build more boats. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need more transports. And it's now the age of unraveling. Which means we're no longer getting huge boosts to our colonies. That's alright, though. That is fine. We will survive. And we speed five. Upgrade boats. We have colonialism against Westham. You suck. <laughs> I don't know why I went up here. <laughs> I should have just gone here. God damn it. Okay. Uh, recall and abandon that. I went to the wrong spot. I clicked the wrong place. Unraveling into those reformation? Yes. The reformation has already started. Started. It's not doing too hot. Uh, Coronite is the reformation, but it's not, it's not amounting to much in this run so far. <laughs> Everyone over here is kind of like, no, nah, I'm good. Uh... The Sun Elves. Cringe. Cringe Sun Elves. Uh, could get Inno for taking the Diplo tech, so I will. Up to 61 Inno. Have another colonist. Um... Where do I want to send this one? Star Elves? Yeah, we become Star Elves eventually. Where do I want to send this colonist? I guess up here. Just to try and grab these uh, tolls. You! Rude. Very rude. Very rude to migrate over as I'm clicking it. Very rude. Okay, well, we have the war goal at least. Visitors from below. Oh, these guys. <laughs> yeah, visitors from below. You should definitely trust them. You should definitely trust all those visitors from below. I'm sure they're kind. Uh, yeah, let me just start colonizing back towards Westham. All in all, not too bad. Not too bad. Where do you think you're going? You ain't going nowhere but the bottom of the sea. We'll get back to that one. Why is Yin so green? Uh, because they are vassals of Stanley Harder. So they're their color, in the Yin. Well, I mean, we're getting taking war score, so it's not the worst thing in the world. 
A four shock general. We do not have a four shock general. <laughs> that is, we do not have that. That is 19. That is gosh dang diggity darn good enough. Okay, walk over here. Oh, did you see him? Look at that wagon go. <laughs> Sacrifice of Merc Company. I can't build two more troops. Uh, I'm also about to max out on mill points. That would be pretty nice. Or instead... Let's do some development. Uh, what route do you plan on going? The bad one. I'm gonna go the bad one. Yeah. Full evil hours. We can't choose that. I will take... The... Admin points. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, well, let's not do that. All right, boys, good luck. Are they going to meet me on the beaches? Nope. They will not. Well, now we just have the fun time. I have to beat this stack with an absolutely horrid general. I could wait for my colonies to get over here. Like, if I tell Antaruin here, I need you to go take this. Do you think they'll move them? What if I set this to allow allies to board? Wait, did it work? He, he, he moved some of his troops. Did they go in the right spot? Well, other colonies here, so... Let's go beat him up. And I don't really care who takes this. Somebody take it. Not me, though. <laughs> I would rather not spend my manpower on it. Thank you very much. Uh, someone else can use their manpower to do so. Yay, I love colonizing the Arctic. No, no, you are you are getting full annexed. There's no There's no decision here. You're dying. You have earned the undeath. Well, that's not true. Undeath would be good, I guess. Depending on who you ask. Felt that up. Develop that up. And for those of you wondering, the reason why I'm developing our colony here so much is because eventually we're going to annex all of our colonial nations. And so I'm developing this because we only have like five or six provinces or something. And this will be the core of our power. Uh, we should get claims on Sistier Mark and Tehenic so we can launch them. But do not worry. If you're thinking, oh, wow, oh, you're just rolling. This is going to be so easy. Don't worry. We have a disaster that will uh, slow us down quite significantly. Huh? Oh. Damn it, Pearl's Edge. Children yearn for the mines. Elves yearn for impure. That's true. Every time I click the death frogs button, I just want to cut myself a little bit. Why? More money. Money is good. Also, the Vampire Girl doesn't hurry up. I'm going to colonize more of their island. Okay, well, now I want Pearl's Edge to get a colonial nation. But we can always sell provinces and stuff and do other cheeky things if need be. I mean, I could have been spent conquering. That's fair. That's fair. Another colony complete. Whoa. That. Sink their navy. 
right. Pull back from Laurent. And peace out. Cool. Uh, anything that needs to be conquered, go ahead and... Or cord. Go ahead and get cord. Damn it. Uh... Yeah, I need to grab, like, three guys and attach them and go deal with these spots. No. I didn't get there in time. Rip. Rippy dippy. Uh, actually, you know what would be a better use? <sighs> oh, we have to build marines in our own territory? Boo. It's 102 degrees? Uh, you know, I'm sorry to hear that. It's not 102 degrees where I am. If that makes you feel any better, if that makes you feel like a little bit colder, uh, it's not a hundred. It's not hundred two here. Actually, I don't even know what it is. Yeah, definitely not hundred two. That's for sure. Trade protection. We're probably super over our colony limit here. Yeah, these are both. Oh no, they're not. Oh, okay. them down there. More sorbent calling instead of arctic trash. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are there so many DTC rebels everywhere? Also, it's time to send... Yeah. It's time to send our heavies back. We're gonna need it. Look, if you really want me to do this, I will, but... I wanted to cut off the Ambinarians from colonizing up here. <laughs> Have you considered not living in a sauna? That's a good point. Have you thought about that? Uh, I can wait for the year tick to get Inno and cheaper tech. There we go. And then I can wait to take the said admin tech. Cool. Laurent is calling me into a war against Rubenair. Sure, Laurent. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be the bestest of friends, Laurent. Don't worry. Uh, we should also colonize more down here to get this colonization up and running. Seven cities grind set. Uh, no, we're actually not searching for the seven cities right now. But I probably should. Every time we go searching for the seven cities, the dude dies before he gets there. How loyal are Colonial Nations? Actually, pretty loyal. Yeah, they're all super loyal. Uh, colonial range, colony cost, and settler. Yes, please. Diplomatic and take sides. Thank you. So, who got screwed over by not having a colonist now? You did. You did. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, let's go and pick them up. We have one more place that we've got to stop off to deal with these DTC separatists. We are going to have to move into them, into the jungle, but it is what it is. <laughs> Elven manpower, bro. <laughs> Elven manpower hours. <laughs> Hoping to you up. No, Lorraine ain't gonna do nothing. I should check if they built more heavies. Lorraine ain't gonna do nothing. We're gonna smack Lorraine down like they won't even believe. Casual conquistador and global settler increase. Cool. 
All right. Uh, we are about to max out on admin points. I don't have inflation. It's fine. Uh, what else do we want to do? Should I build manpower buildings? Yeah, we're going to have to here. Where's your professionalism? <laughs> we're at a solid 9.88. Peace is a lie, true. Peace is a lie. Peace is just the time in between war. Go and explore that. Uh, I've lost a colonist. I don't know what from, but I lost it. Rippy dippy. Do we just give Laurent our land then and just move on with our lives? Parliament? No, the Parliament gave us one. Uh, settlers were getting. Uh, 175 a year. Hundred and seventy five a year. Core those. Build barracks up in this region. Because it will be worth these as well. You can build one of a nail right now. A little bit from Dame's Crown? Mmm. Yeah, not yet. It might have been from a mission. It's alright. Six is still good. Did that admin tech just cost us 200? Am I crazy? <laughs> Am I crazy? Because we only went down like 200, right? Ah, we need three stabs. Stop stabbing me down. Stop it. No more. No more. No mas. No mas. Okay, so we have... You need to get moved over here. <clears throat> we need to be ready to immediately occupy all these Laurentish provinces. Check your tech cost. Like in my modifiers? It's minus 48% right now. Idea groups are running exploration expansion admin because while we are colonizing like crazy now, uh, the mission tree has us taking all of this. Maybe this too, but for sure all this. So we're going to go admin and diplo. On the tech. There. Okay. Two M ideas and Amazon 7. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would make it a lot cheaper. We we'll make it a lot cheaper. Yeah, plus our Inno. That's true. We do have 67 Inno. Innovative ideas and joyers are seeding right now. Uh, floating city crash site. To do! To do is back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to grab that province. All right, uh, government reform is almost there. But again, we're going to flip monarchy at some point, so I'm not sure how useful it's going to be. Hey, good news, though. We're not even close to being over our governing capacity. Huh. Can I? No, they both caught my spies. Damn. They have 5,000 troops. That's free land. It's free land. To do wingding and cube holy trinity <laughs> the holy trinity of cursed 
Wait till I inherit all land? Why? Poor K, wait. Here, oh, for the gov cap. Yeah, no, you're correct on that one. Uh, I will rival... Wow, you actually have a decent amount of troops. Oh, we're almost Samiris. Simply because I think we'll eclipse them before it matters. Alright. Stab up to three again. That works. Two more colonies complete. I can convert a province to elven forebears. Not that worried about it at the moment. I'm sure we get uh, better stuff eventually. Uh, Ringlet Sea Coast sounds fine. And I have two colonists that I need to send. So we're going to grab that center of trade and that estuary as well. Yeah, score has to my colonies. True. I'm just, I'm holding on to this money because we have that worth of rent in three years. And if they do manage to land, I'm going to need mercs to try and stop them. I'm going to take their soldiers. It won't do much, right? It's not like my mercs are all of a sudden going to win the war for me, but they may keep us alive for a little bit longer. Uh, DTC separatists are unfortunate. Three dev, three dev. No unrest, huh? Really? Okay. Right. Yeah. Connect them and uh, send them down here then. Dev notes to do Wingdings base language for the cube. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. Yep, there's Andrillionde. I can snag that colony from Laurent, too. The time is quickly approaching. We will see if we will be successful in our shenanigans or not. Or if we'll be punished for our shenanigans. That is the other option. Laurent is up to seven heavies. I'm going to build three more just to... Make sure. I don't like how we're going so far over our naval force limit. It's probably costing us a decent amount of cash. Yeah. Almost five ducats a month. But if it means that we can keep colonizing like this, it's definitely worth it. All right. Regionalism. Provincial government gives state maintenance. Union of states gives global trade power. Exile colonial companies gives us 5% settler chance. Well, that makes that decision very easy. Wow, we can expel minorities for free. Woo! That's so good, bro. That's so good. I love that. And there we go. We've eclipsed that rival. Which means I can choose a new one, which is going to be you. Whoever you are. Mm -hmm. Alright, tariffs on fish. Better leave it be. Now you can all be brought back. Probably here. Actually, no. To here, because Laurent will have some spots that they'll be able to hurt me in. Like, they have this. So, just gotta keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. There is an Exxon Minorities mechanic before? Yeah, it's outdated. It doesn't need to be in the game anymore. <laughs> what it used to do was you click that button and then it would change the culture and religion of a province over to yours. Um, but obviously the implications of that aren't great. And so... This is going to be interesting. Is the rent even going to be able to declare this war? If maybe I'll just give them claims on us or something. Um, what was I saying? Right, the old mechanic. It would 
it would export them to the new world and it would change culture and religion. So it was really good. Um, but it was too good. It was too good. There we go. Let's get that to 25 so that can be upgraded later. Actually, it won't be upgraded because our capital is going to be upgraded. It's alright though. Uh, colonial expansion. Yes, please. Yeah, is Laurent even going to be able to do this? If we're in a war together. Because I don't know if it gives them claims. I don't know if they automatically declare war. If they do declare war, what happens? I duns know. E4 dev clean up nastier aspects of their game in the room next door. Star Stem. So we have a super weapon <laughs> that removes sentience. <laughs> yes. And we can make people taste good, too. <laughs> That's bad. That right there is bad. Laurent has 25,000 troops in this region. But, I mean, so does my vassal, my subject. So it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Return to monkey. We are no longer asking. <laughs> monkey. Monkey. Go and send there. Keep exploring. Oh, Booslar doing Booslar things. Vern doing Vern things. It looks like Pearl's Edge grabbed this province. Good for them. Mr. Poey. a oh, please. Mr. Poey was my father. <laughs> Sorwin Cien. Well, I'm getting a Cien down here, too. But if I get a Sorwin Cien, then Osgoram's just going to deck them. Like, immediately. Reproachment with Leslimpar? I don't care. Sure. Uh, there's no bad reason for them to like me more. Then you intervene and delete them. Okay. Uh, counterpoint. Counterpoint. We'll be fighting Laurent. Well, there you go. Now they're a self-governing colony. And I'll go get your, your dumb, stupid ugly sorrowing okay there we go everything is fine everything is under control do not worry citizens uh, I kind of want to grab this and I kind of want to grab this just so I have easy ways to start expanding into these regions when the time comes keep exploring no Shoot. We're not war anymore. Oh, guess we'll figure out what happens now. It was 35, right? Yeah. Oh. That is less than stellar. I will admit. Let's make a save. How much unrest is Vanail going to get? Or my colony's going to get? Mission then accept, but I don't want to accept. <laughs> That's the thing. The point is that I don't want to accept. They get that much unre uh, that much liberty desire, huh? That's a lot of liberty desire. Now, is this just a number you've picked up thin air, or is this like why? Because I can because if I click the button, I will annex all my colonies, and then I will lose a lot of colonists. And I like all these colonists, because I can colonize a lot, and that's good.
So we say independent expedition launched by the into the blood globes. Lorenz decided to press their claim to Vanille, granted them many years ago. If we wish to retake control of the island, we must fight them off. I also just kind of don't want to give Lorenz anything. Population flees to Aventir. Am I going to lose the provinces anyways? Oh. Well, that certainly is one way to go about it, I suppose. Yeah, we're not doing that. They literally just declare independence. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I still to point out he didn't fall next to the screen. We're testing, we're testing, we're testing. All right, fine. Fine. A new beginning. It's finally our time. Our Grand Armada is ready to set sail and write the final chapter of our Canorian history. Some fools want to stay in Vanale, but who are we to stop them? For five years, we get minus 50% dev cost, plus 80 global seller increase, and we inherit all of our colonial nations. We lose one stab. We gain a new capital. Level The center of trade is increased by one. <laughs> uh, and we will lose all provinces in Kanor, but their development will be transferred over to Alentir. There we go. So now we annex all of our colonial nations and we own it all ourselves. And Laurent gets these three development islands, El Bozo. Uh, we can become a empire immediately, and we will. Uh, check colonial maintenance. <laughs> We're a bit over our force limit, okay? And we're also a bit over our colonial maintenance as well. These things will have to be adjusted. I'll take the governing capacity. <laughs> now decline. No, we'll give him the island. It's all yours, bud. <laughs> I say in for a penny. All right, and let's revitalize the economy. After our recent migration, all aspects of the national economy must be revisited and revised. Hopefully, we can stabilize our cash flow and rapidly adapt to our new environment. 10% goods produced for 40 years, and the harvest begins. For decades, or perhaps for centuries, our people have fo focused almost exclusively on the migration. For From the 100-year Danish crown loan to the massive resource extraction projects in Vanale and Andreliande, our economy was geared towards one purpose, the return home. Now that we've achieved that great dream, we have lost that clear-cut focus, and we are left with the loans to pay. And already the campaign plans drawn up by the strategist Sikrior and the great cathedral at Aelnar, the priest order Davar, is clamoring for, seem to demand we take more. Eliendal, close advisor to Alderian I, instructs us in a more fruitful direction. Immediate investment in the facilities necessary to harvest the many fruits of this untapped land. All of Aelintir, a land bursting at the seams with ores to mine and flora to pluck, is at our fingertips. For years, we have sown, and now let us reap. We lose to inflation. Woohoo. whoop de doo uh, Let's... State this up. Okay, oh, we have to go state everything, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta state everything. Hold on. Hold on for a moment here. Need all this to be ours. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Just gotta be careful not to go over our government capacity too much. Yeah, and abandon all colonies not close to finishing. Like, even these, even though it's plus 241, like, we're going to abandon them because no one else can colonize there. So it's not that big of a deal. State. State. 
state, state, state. Uh, we're going to focus on state and things down here first before we go up north. State, 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 state. As you do. As one does, state that, and that. Let me state that. We have gold up here, right? No. We got zero gold. Okay, and that's going to take us up to our governing capacity. All right. Um, yeah, that's a bit too many guys. I'll give you that. So let's delete all of these troops. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. Grab the cab and get rid of those. I would like to grab all boats of all kinds. Delete all cab. Alt F4? Alt F4 time? Let's go. Go to Ilnar. Cancel everything you're doing. Uh, switch you over to collecting trade now. Still way over our force limit. How far over the force limit are we? We're still double over it. There's another 7,000 gone. Another 5,000 cannons gone. I can get rid of 7,000 more cav here. Money month date? Yeah, but if we take a month tick, we're going to take a huge amount of debt. Uh, colonial maintenance can also be good to look at and fix. Abandon that one. And abandon that one. Okay. That's fine. Where else do we have it? Okay, abandon that one. Send. Send. So no matter what I do here, we're going to take a loan. Fleet maintenance. Okay, I can delete some of these boats before they even get to port. Uh, that gone. These, gone. These, gone. These, gone. These, gone. Gone, gone, gone. Gone. Just enough to not take a loan. So we deleted too many troops and too many boats, but honestly, that's fine. Now we're making 62 ducats a month. <laughs> okay. Uh, Revoke an embargo on Westham, no longer a valid rival. Let's do the... Mm, do a couple things. You need to stab up. New Elven Legion. The sea is no longer a bulwark against any invader. War will now be fought on our soil, not on our coast. To win the battles to come, we need to rethink our military organization. For 40 years, 10% morale of armies and 10% infantry combat ability. On Vanilla, we only mustered a token force, knowing every piece of metal was better used in shipbuilding than armorsmithing, and trusting the Sea Watcher's wooden wall to keep us safe. Our already skeletal forces only dwindled when the Great Migration began, as many soldiers were inspired by Lithiel to head west as Pathfinders. We haven't actually encountered Lithiel yet. Um, during those last few years, it seemed the army consisted of a handful of young recruits, a few elderly blade masters, and of course, the steadfast warrior Cade, about as easily dislodged from his sergeant rank as a mountain. But our days as Vanille are gone now, and never shall we return to them. 
Today, Aldarian the First reviews the new Legion's mustard and crisp ranks in the field outside Ilnar. Even as Eliandel's ink-stained hands go through the various papers outlining their disposition, whispering details to the Emperor, the gleaming steel, row upon row of elven might speak much louder story. Cade steps forward from the first rank, drawing his blade. He salutes. Every one of his thousands of soldiers assembled behind him does the same. The blade itself incites to deeds of violence. Ten army tradition. And the teal armada. We have at least ten heavy ships. With our army operational, it is time to rethink our naval doctrine. Simply defending our coast is no longer enough. We need to strive for more. Our navy has to become the uncontested ruler of the oceans of the world, ready to repel any invaders before they can even set foot on our lands. All right, my 20% naval maintenance modifier for 40 years, and a teal ocean happens. For century upon century upon century, we've wandered the waves, but we wander no longer. And as Aldarian I gazes upon the teal armada docked in Aelnar Harbor, dyed sails mounted on Bloodgrove's wood, he knows the truth. Our domain shall extend beyond the lands of Aelantir to include the seas as well. Uh, Sicrior is already advocating we use the fleet for island hopping, multi-directional expansion. Cade's deep voice tells the Emperor it should ferry expeditionary forces to claim new regions with blood and steel. Lithiel would commandeer at least one ship to just explore our home, and revel in the fact that we have finally returned to it. Today, the Armada shall be put to use deterring pirates, but tomorrow, a sea of possibilities lays ahead. And we can stabilize the country. With the arrival of the final wave of settlers, the rapidly growing population of our new home is placing a heavy toll on our administration. We need to stabilize the situation before expanding further. 20 prestige, and for 40 years, we gain some monthly autonomy change. The first returning moon elf to set foot in the land that would become our capital, Aelnar, was Lithiel Oathkeeper, Lieutenant at Arms, and subsequently Pathfinder, of the Cothadale. Cothadale? The second was the ship's first mate, the third the ship's captain. For each, the se it seemed momentous. Their first steps in the land of their fathers and their father's fathers in the land of their ancestors. But somewhere around the 100th Red Turn E, while the momentous did not lessen, the pressing needs of building homes against the wind and fires against the chill took on a more salient import. And while we have long devoted our entire state to this migration and readied the capital for our arrival, Aldarian the first close advisor, Eliendal, has made clear not every, not every piece of Aelnar is ready the same way. Though any elf would die happy knowing that they were to be buried in Aelantir, indeed, if one believes Davar's theology, it would mean that they were eternally blessed, we cannot afford to waste a single life in our colonization. We have some experienced sailors capable of keeping ships afloat even in the stormy waters of the Elos Lament, but now we must make calm the realm itself. We cannot falter now. 50 government reform progress. <sighs> and adapt the government. So, having stabilized our country, it is time to implement prof profound reforms to ensure the power and stability of Aelnar in perpetuity. We have to form a government with the capability and authority to make swift decisions. We need a supreme ruler, a king. All right, so it loses 100 of each monarch point, and we become a monarchy. We will become, well, we're already an empire. And forging of a crown happens. At sea, the migrant fleet was nigh anarchic. Every ship for itself. On the island of Vanail, we organized into a vaguely Republican council, drawing upon the moon elves' best in pursuit of our singular vision. Now that we've returned to Aelantir, we must reimagine ourselves once more. Elthanus, the glass worker turned philosopher advocate, is calling on Aldarian I to step down and open the leadership up to a complete democracy. Ever charismatic and ever scheming Davar whispers of theocratic rule, replacing our previous unity of vision with a unity of faith. There are some fools, blinded by the ideas of heroism, who speak of elevating Lithiel, anointing her heroine of the reconquest, and placing a crown on her head. There shall be a crown, forged of Aelantiri iron, set with Aelantiri rubies and sapphires and diamonds, but it shall be placed on the head of Alderan I, and he alone. Hail to the Emperor. Ten legitimacy. And now, I need money. Uh, we definitely want to be an autocracy. For sure. Uh, do I want to go magical elite? Because there's definitely, there's definitely an argument to be made to go for national manpower. Or even the stab cost, too. I know we're going to need both. I think we go for the national manpower. Usually it's not as good, but we're elves. We need manpower. 
If we need to, we can switch into staff costs when we need it. Uh, as for our tier three bureaucracy, I'm tempted by decentralized. Mm, this also isn't bad. Because we're not going to be able to state all of Aeland here. And having that minimal autonomy in territories will be useful. So we're going to go for that. Uh, as for a tier 4, I think maintaining balance of power for the loyalty is best. Well. There's also an argument to be made to keep our religious unity up. No, we're going to go for the loyalty. Uh, military doctrine, we're not going to stick with the uh, the Marines. Funny, but I think we either go for mercenaries or sustained discipline. I just really like sustained discipline. No mercs here? Yeah, you say that now. We will be using mercs at some point. <laughs> Not the marines, no! Eh? States general? Eh? 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 <laughs> no. Um, probably royal decree is what we're going to want. Why don't we just go for parliament again? But God, parliament is going to suck! When we own a lot of land. It's going to suck. But it is an extra colonist that we could snag. We still have a while until we get Royal Decree. Royal EC for sure. Like, eventually we're going to want that absolutism. The one for estate power. True, we could go for general estates and then switch into a royal decree when the time comes. Let's do that. And then we have tier 7. Uh, Meritocratic recruitment is always good. For advisor cost? become a theocracy <laughs> oh well i mean that is an option you're not wrong but it's not an option we're going to be taking but that is an that is a possibility <laughs> i could rival laurent and goed great good for us okay a couple months and we'll have the money we need there we go a bunch of colonies just completed and we can also complete Trading Hub. As a civilization with the biggest impact on Alentir, we will inevitably become the leading trading power of the region. In dead, in dead. Indeed, we will make sure of that. 500 crowns, 100 diplo power. For 40 years, we gain 15% trade efficiency, and the coin must flow. We mined out 10 seams of ore, and yet the land still offers riches aplenty. We cut down 100 trees in the blood groves and hardly seemed to make a dent. We caught 1,000 fish in the ruined sea, still teemed with more. Alien Tier is ours and ours alone, but the lands has wealth beyond our imagining, and we can hardly use or even store all we harvest. While the glass worker and troublemaker, Aelthonis, is advocating we give the surplus directly to the people, there is a better idea. Selling it, even sending a small amount back east, would be enough to finance even the expansionist Sicrior's wildest dreams. Five mercantilism. <laughs> Alright, and the Age of Reclamation. The time to shape our destiny has finally come. Alright, we're gonna make a save. All right. Thanks to the incredible efforts of our people, the lands of Alentir have been reclaimed, and it is up to us to make our new earth a paradise where our people can prosper. Every meadow will be cultivated, every river exploited, every mountain explored, every secret discovered, and, if inadvertently, an entity 
any entity comes to challenge our hegemony, we will make them understand that they have come to the wrong neighborhood and knocked on the wrong door. May the stars lead the way. And now we can reclaim our birthright. <laughs> really? Really? Uh, do we want to switch over to Elnar immediately? Because there is an argument to be made to stay as Vanille. While we colonize, but we probably should just switch. We probably should just switch. Mm. But you know what? We're going to save that for tomorrow's stream. Yeah. Yep. We're going to save that for tomorrow's stream. But we will end today's stream with a praising of the cube for leaving the elves back home. That's right. Elves taken back in with here as it belongs. And we shall praise the cube for that uh, before we do lots and lots of war crimes. Tomorrow's going to have lots and lots of war crimes. So many war crimes. Um, <clears throat> very many. Uh, but we will be live again tomorrow uh, at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and we will continue the Vanille run. We'll see if I lose my mind trying to uh, get through the disaster. Uh, Exclamation point YouTube. We'll get to the YouTube channel. Exclamation point VOD. We'll get to the VOD channel. I'll get this up as soon as possible. And exclamation point Discord. We'll get you to the Discord as well. Uh, just to let you know, Blunders Gate 3 comes out on August 3rd, and I will be streaming the game. Uh, not sure what time we'll start. I think we'll aim for a 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time start. It's a little bit earlier than usual. Because um, the game releases at 8 a.m. my time, and two hours should be enough to get downloaded. But we'll, we'll see on that one. Uh, let's find someone to raid here. Who is live and alive right now? Playing some U4. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Right. No. Uh, you know what? We will go ahead and raid uh, Boken. He is, he's doing some shenanigans right now. All right. Send you guys on over there. Uh, I already said all the things. Did all the stuffs. Said all the things. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day, and I hope to see you in the next one.